Uh, I thought, yeah, I've been meaning to do some more Windows 3.1 stuff, as I said in the last video. Uh, and I was thinking about doing something for Vinny from Biontalus. Um, so, like I said before, I got on his radar because of um, he played some terrible Windows 3.1 weather games. There was Operation Weather Disaster and Operation Eco Nightmare. Now, he found my video of Weather Disaster, but I'd never played Eco Nightmare. So I just thought, yeah, let's let's play it now. Let's give it a go. It was meant to be like a kid slash teens educational point and click adventure. Um, and it had some really goofy FMVs, like you had this boy here, the weatherman. And, um, who's it? There was that really dumb guy. I've actually forgotten his name, but he was one of the entertaining parts of Weather Disaster. Um, but yeah, he's actually not in this one, which is what put me off playing this for so long. But I thought, yeah, let's do it for Vinny. And let's have a look back at the, uh, the last game. Just to, My yeah, remind me of it. When Stratos, the team extreme leader, started to interfere with these plans, snuffing out my best tornadoes with those blasted cyclonic missiles. My weather. <laughs> my weather will triumph. Yeah, so he went crazy, he got his whole, got a hold of, like, ancient weather control technology and just started wrecking havoc on the world. <laughs> Some new recruit showed up and started to undo all my masterwork. Oh, I had floods, typhoons, and Arctic freezes. I had lots of stuff some footage. Of the places on Earth. Honestly, it was beautiful. I mean, uh, terrible. Technically, I could send them like that. And I like him because he reminds me of um, Jeff Faye from uh, Lawnmower Man. Oh, I did see recently he got chummy with Robert Rodriguez and ended up getting into um, In a League of Battle Angel. It was like that Handmaster guy. I'm in I lured this novice recruit into trap after trap, only to be undone. <laughs> All that annoying Team Extreme equipment, like that flying storm runner and that chatty little infobot. I'll put that out too. I remember one of the things we needed to beat him was a um a stick and a pair of underpants. No you he had to make like a flag for a puzzle of some sort. <laughs> My final undoing. And but yeah, I thought, that, like, I haven't seen this for a while. I think I have seen it uh, be finished, but I'm just like, yeah. It should be fairly easy. Like, I remember the puzzles not being too hard. We should be able to get through this in one sitting. Guy's camp as fuck, isn't he? Alright, let's jump in. Let's have a look. So I think we actually get another FMV. Yeah, just showing us what's happened since. Muck Inc. gives second chance to Weatherman. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I can't tell you how excited I am to be working here at MUCC. Let's look. The PR people hired you to generate good publicity. I had nothing to do with it. I don't want you in my division any more than you want to be here. Oh, well, I want to be here, sir. I mean, the press hasn't been very kind to me, but I'm a lot more. Could have won a tie at least, dude. I <laughs> <not laughs> really want to make that much of a good impression. It certainly needs cleaning up. But we don't clean up images here. We clean up pollution. I don't know what stunt you're trying to pull, but you working for MUCC won't convince anyone of anything. You should look for a job that's more suited to your background. I want more. I want people to believe in me. I want people to look at their television sets and say, look at that Jonah Greenstreet. Look at what he did <laughs> He has very round teeth. That's what we know about Jonah Greenstreet. what is, sir. Well, at least you're enthusiastic. Yeah, look at those things. <laughs> it's like fish scales. It's creepy. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, this guy's British accent is bad as bad as mine, isn't it? No, it's more. 
has made a startling innovation in oil cleanup. It's like oil. someone who moved to Australia or Britain or vice versa and like lived there long enough for the accent to kind of change. Maybe we could change the microbes themselves and breed them or, or change them to need less food. Once I had the idea yeah, I remember that was groundbreaking back in the 90s. Like they came up with bacteria that eats oil. And that's how they use what they use to clean up oil spills and stuff. Oh, who could have thought criminal genius could be reformed into such incredible business savvy? <laughs> Here he is. Mm. Well, oh, we're getting a time lapse, so he's moved up in the President company fairly Jonah quickly. Green Street. <laughs> It sort of, yeah, it makes me think, like, watching these FMVs that, like, everyone who gets cast in these things are, like, in the same agency that, um, Tim and Eric uses for all their weird, <laughs> all the weird characters they have in their shows. You know, they call us the world's janitor. Well, as you know, I'm going to take this company far beyond custodial work. I think we all agree that it's time to stop cleaning up messes and start preventing them from happening in the first place. Yes. Sustainability. God, he turned into a yes man quick, didn't he? We must take from the earth only what we can put back. We must show industries how to reuse their waste the way nature reuses its waste. <laughs> We must restructure taxes and tariffs to promote innovation, conservation, and sustainable growth. Sustainability! We must take responsibility for life on this planet. We must... <laughs> Thanks, though. But this one, yeah, like, this ticks a lot of boxes for me, for FMVs. Like, FMV games, I should say. Like, yeah, campy is all fuck. It's got enough in there to rope you in. I say, okay, so we got a gameplay. Um, what have we got? That's a letter. Dear recruit, congratulations on being chosen as a member of Team Extreme. The leader of the eco division is Ivy. She can help you get oriented, so I suggest you look her up as soon as you arrive at HQ. Good luck. Um, You've got... No, I can't do anything with the flower. And, yeah, I had to turn the cycles right down because this actually runs a little too quick in um, just normally emulated Win 3.1. So, yeah, a few places to visit. Let's go to the... We go through to here. Have a look in the trash. Nothing in the recycling. Team Extreme... I'll actually turn the sand up a little bit. Sort of just birds at the moment auxiliary lock entrance will be granted by correctly answering five questions uh what is a wind farm uh yeah large expanse of windmills was it c or three can i just click on the oh you just click on the thing that is correct and hello beans you've come in to say hello oh you're a bit wet got wet out there okay what is atmospheric pressure um I think it's the push of molecules. Yeah, correct. What does clear cutting mean? Um, <laughs> what happens when you get a really bad haircut? Um, I think it's when forests get cut down. Yep, correct again. Which of the following is not responsible for animal extinction? Hunting animals, destruction of habitat, placing animals, protected areas, pollution. Uh, placing animals. Uh, which of the following is not a source of water pollution? Pesticides, industrial rate. Oh, coral reefs, yeah. Alright, now that was fairly easy. Because I remember the questions in the first game you could kind of brute force. I think they changed that. It'll just reset if you get something wrong. But yeah, we're in. Um, let's exit. So what's going on in here? Oh. Excuse me, can I help you? Oh, it's you. I I'm sorry, do you start today? That's right, we scheduled a meeting. I'm Ivy, director of Team Extreme's green team. I apologize, but the computers are down. Well, everything's down. It's like a...
tornado hit this oh. place last night. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I forgot. Um... Look, I, I wish I could show you around, but I gotta get the auxiliary power Oh, yeah, going. stream lamps would still be on and make sure the if I get panels, the windmill, subs on the whole YouTube. I have been getting a few because of that you video. Might That's right. Pretty busy. Hey, why don't you see if you can lend a hand? I'm like, how the hell did that happen off stream? Some help in the Aqua Bio Center down that hallway. I'll come check on you this afternoon. Good luck. Yeah, this isn't... Yeah, I wasn't expecting this to, as part of the green team, to be honest. I thought you were going to be doing more um, uh, hydroponics work. Yeah, let's see. Can we actually turn... Oh, we can just turn everything up in-game. All right. Yeah, that's a little better. And just turn... I ain't turned back down. Yeah, I was wondering why it was quiet. Except... It was quiet in-game except for the FMVs. But no, we've worked that out. Okay. Um... What's, what else we got? Ah, oh, hints, database, help, okay. Database not functional until Gaia has been assembled, okay. Yeah, what was behind here? New objects are not allowed back there, oh wow. I don't see anyone here trying to stop me. Aqua Bio Center, these are usually like the holographic projectors where they tell you to get the green pages. Uh, and that's just sitting there humming, okay. Land Bio Center. Exits. Yeah, what's that? Can we just pinch a plane? You made it. Oh. Cool. Hey, can you give me a hand with this? I heard you know a thing or two about robots. Well, this used to be Guy, one of our best infobots. Man, why did they have to hurt her? She was the only infobot who seemed to have any real personality. I dusted for fingerprints, but the only clue I found was a cigar butt on the floor. No one in the green team smokes, so this definitely what? wasn't an accident. Uh, maybe Guy has some memory. I'm of starting to regr regret joining the green team more together. and more now. No one smokes up. It's disappointing. Alright, so what, what was his deal again? Uh, yeah, four minutes. Oh, we can go other places if we get the urge. Alright. Uh, nothing I can click on in here. Nice of him just to randomly let you jump into a fucking... Into a thing, eh? Into a ship. Um... Okay, so this is the info bot that got broke. Oh, and we can repair it. Okay, I can't remember how it actually went together on... Because I think it was the one that was on the screen next to Weatherman. Okay, so... Where do we start? It's kind of like... Oh, yeah. Oh, it kind of, like, locks in once you hover over with it. Okay, that's helpful. So this is just... Rub... Yeah, rub the object against it. See how you go. No. Oh, there we go. Mm, I guess something else has got to go on first. Yeah, that seems like it fits in there. Does that go on the back? No. Oh, how about the wheels? Oh, yeah, there we go. And ah oh yeah, ring around there. Not sure where that goes on, but anyway. Uh give it a and as soon as you if it's not in the right the right spot and you let go, she just goes back. Hmm. Ah oh yeah, now it works. As soon as I rubbed it over the right spot and she can good. Ah, oh, there we go. You have successfully fixed guy. Okay. Cool. All right, we have a robot. I'm detecting an error in my programming. Oh, and it sounds like the one from last game. Hours. Okay. Have I been shut down? Are you okay? Guy, you were damaged last night. Our friend here repaired you. I am grateful. However, my sensors indicate more pressing emergencies. The windmill, for instance, which yeah. is maintained, has stopped functioning. Game, My game. functionality should not take precedence. <laughs> it's like a robot version of Slice the Line. Supply. You're in pieces, Gaia. I mean, we had to help you. The windmill must be repaired within two hours, because you will be needed this afternoon. Your expertise will be essential to repairing the rest of the power grid. Right, right, I'll get on it. Listen, Gaia, we were hoping you saw who broke in last night. I have no record of an intruder. None? Well, I guess I have to look for clues somewhere else then. In the meantime, let me introduce you to our newest recruit. Our wizard mechanics, lucky for you. Do you think you get a tubbing this Didn't even need all the days, tools you got, orientation mate. on how we do things? That is the standard procedure. I will remain with a new recruit until the training period is complete. Great. Hey, 
why don't you take Guy and have a look at the windmill? I was down there this morning and it just didn't make any sense. I mean, the thing isn't even turning. Well, you can borrow my wrench if it helps. Oh, jeez. Cool. Hey, that's a diff that's just normal wrench. That's not a shifting spanner. What are you talking about, mate? Um, all right, so that's, I think that's all we could do in there. It's in the aqua bio center. Oh, what's, who the fuck's this boy? Look at him rocking out. No. Thumbs up, buddy. Let's have a chat. They're back. They got the power. No, lights work. <laughs> Man, is this young Vinny? People. That's the first thing I learned on the street. Don't goof around, because you never know what a mark's gonna do. He could have been a corporate terrorist or something. We sure got enough of them around here. Ivy calls me paranoid, but someone's trying to do a number on the green team. I know that much. Oh, look at my saltwater tank. It's all I mean, he's got the hat. He's got the New the York accent. Solo, my refrigeration chain was down. It's all I can do to save this oil clump and bacteria I was working on. Man, it's like someone came in here. And did <laughs> I'll do that right as the thumbnail for the video. I'll head. just like yeah, screenshot this else. guy and draw in like kid. Vinny's beard. It's a big company behind all this. There's lots of money out there set against environmentalists like you and me. Being I'm an environmentalist like as well? Like, kid. how you much did I fucking lie on my resume? Anyway. If I don't get I going, I'm gonna lose 10 months you know, of research. Work on some hydroponics. Hey, you wanna do me a favor? This tank's in bad shape, and if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose some endangered fish. Now the frame's all cracked, so we gotta move the saltwater fish to the freshwater tank. Which means, of course, first treating the water in here. Why don't you get started by taking the freshwater fish out to the pond? Then worry about the rest. I got a bucket under the sink out front. Peace up, kid. Okay, so he's got a bucket under the sink out front. Uh, I'd say we'll need all of this. Can we just take it all with us? Water conditioner. What else do we have? Saline crystals. So we've got salt and we got the net to grab the fish. Okay. Um, we got to go find a bucket. Yeah, right, eh? Um, behind the desk out front, so it should be here somewhere. Your operative's not allowed back there. Okay. Um... But the land bio center. Oh yeah, I'm the lady. Oh, hey man, taking a look around? I'm Sunshine. It's good to meet you finally. Oh come on, Sunshine. You've got to know where the weed is, surely. The biodiversity greenhouse. I'd show you around. I know you don't smoke up, but you probably have like you know THC oil or something. Someone's been playing games. Vape it at least. The section's broken in half. If I can't dig up the broken joint and fix it in an hour, we're gonna start losing tropical plants. Oh, hey, why don't you take a look at the garden outside? I haven't had a chance to get out there. It's on the same irrigation system, so it could probably use some water. And if I fix the plumbing, maybe I'll show you what we're doing. We've had a fight to get some of these specimens. I mean, people are pretty cool about helping endangered animals, but it's hard to get them excited about plants. Sometimes yeah, that I is true, we actually. I'll just appreciate the simpler... I love endangered like animals, but I give no fucks about plants. Flowers. We might learn to take care of the natural world. I just fix up my settings anyway, a bit. Anyway, see in a bit. Yeah, fair enough. Oh! Sunshine has installed a trickle irrigation system, a method used in the U.S. and Israel since the 1970s, which is currently being implemented across the world. A trickle system delivers water directly to the ground beside a plant, usually via plastic tubing, eliminating most evaporation and reducing harmful salt deposits. That's one way of doing it. I didn't think, like, irrigation's not a new thing. I guess trickle irrigation is. Right, so we got to check the garden. we got to get a uh, bucket. Um, right, eh? Oh, yeah, there's a bucket. Okay, so we got a bucket um, filled up in the sink, I suppose. Fill the bucket with tap water. Okay. Um, so what's this water conditioner? I think we need that. We, you shouldn't need to treat tap water to save fish, surely. Um, so we'll go back to here. When you just put the... Vaguely remember you have to put the bucket... No, okay. That didn't work. Um, so pick up a fish. And 
the chlorine in the tap water would kill the fish. Okay. Oh, that's why you treat the tap water for... Who's got fucking chlorine in their tap water? That seems... Conditioner removes chlorine from the water. Okay. Yeah, like we've got um, fluoride in um, Melbourne's water, but yeah, that's a little weird. Anyway, um, so we treated the water, put the fish in, just catch all the fish, put them in, and just go to the pond outside, I guess. Yeah, I'm glad I turned the cycles down first, because yeah, I know these games run a little bit too fast for Windows. Alright, that's all the freshwater fish. I gotta chuck them in the pond, wherever the pond was. Um, okay, that looks like the garden. Yeah, let's try this bit. Riptide has constructed a small hydroelectric turbine to harness the energy of this stream. Most hydroelectric facilities are vast in scale, such as dams on large rivers. They are very cost-effective sources of energy, providing close to one-fifth of the power used in industrialized nations. Yeah. You can't move the dirt with your bare hands, so what do I need to? Can't open the jammed hatch. This one can't turn that on. That's a pond. Alright, dump the fish in the pond. Fish happily splash into their new home. Cool. Right, so we should be able to go and sort out the saltwater fish. So I've put saline crystals in here. Water is now appropriate for saltwater fish. Cool. Right, can I... Do I have to stick it in the bucket, though? No. Let's transfer them over. Cool. So how are you going to get the freshwater fish back? Just fish for fishies? Using that? Yeah, there's prob they probably got away. They're saving fish Good all the time. Good work. With your help, I think we might be able to save both the fish and the bacteria. Yeah, except for the years. This like this temporary refrigeration system <laughs> seems going. like Vinny. Hey, maybe you can do something about the hydro generator in the meantime. Ivy says it's toast, like everything else around here. The power's so low, she can't even use the antenna, which means we're totally cut off from the rest of the world. Like I said, something's going down. Something big. The quicker you fix the hydro generator, the better. Oh, you'll find the control panel beside the dam out front. Let me give you a pair of work gloves. Oh, you won't be needing that aquarium stuff anymore. Oh, but I like having salt on hand. Okay, so we fix. Uh, what else do we have to do? The garden. Um, so that's the hydroelectric dam. This corn is one of Sunshine's most successful experiments. With help from other biotechnologists, she has genetically altered the corn's root system so that it fertilizes its own soil with nitrogen removed from the air, a process called nitrogen fixing. Self-fertilizing plants like these could someday reduce farmers' dependence on fertilizers, which release vast amounts of nitrous oxide, a gas that contributes to the greenhouse effect. Fair enough. Okay. That is dying garden. Well, they said something there was like a irrigation system here somewhere. Do we just... Can we just like water the plants? Hang on. What's the green team uses a common type of solar unit, a glass panel containing copper pipes. The water in the pipes absorbs heat from the sun and circulates through Team Extreme headquarters, heating various rooms as well as the hot water. Yeah, okay. Uh, why are there trash bags on the panels? Tiny slit is allowing water to escape. Can you just fix it with the wrench? Oh, it's a split pipe, so I need to tape it up somehow. Um, so what else do we have? The garden. Oh, that's probably... Is that what's providing... No, that's meant to be providing heated water, I guess. Um, can we go... Maybe unjam this. Rotor access hatch. Oh yeah, we got the hatch open. What's jammed in there? Ah, oh, the bottle's sharp. Okay. We apparently cut ourselves. The channel is still blocked by the man of dirt, so we need something to dig the dirt out. Okay. Um, can we go... No, that just takes us there. Alright. 
What else we gonna do? Oh, we haven't visited the um, thing. Yet. A standard factory built 500 kilowatt windmill, identical to the ones used in the famous California wind farms. The research to make windmills more efficient continues. The key to their success has been the introduction of mass production techniques, which, since 1980, have cut the expense of wind power. Yeah, definitely by a needed of 10. these for this. Oh, all right. So what's the deal? That's a torn blade, so we need something to fix up the blade. Okay. Um, can't pick flowers. Yep. So can we just water the garden with the bucket? Um. Oh, we couldn't go behind there yet. Couldn't go back to the. No, we can go back to the hangar. Um. Fill up the bucket. I doubt this is going to be enough to water the, um, the corn here, but we'll try it. Oh, no, that actually worked. Righto. That's a healthy garden. Oh, maybe we'll get something from Garden Lady if we go back. Hang on. She might have a shovel for us. Uh, so what do we want in the land center? Well, I found the broken joint, so in a minute we'll have water inside. But it looks like the outside pipes are backed up and full of mud. Good thing you watered the garden because it'll be a few days before I can get the equipment I need for the mud. Oh, hey, do you think you could do me another favor while I replace this joint? Ivy says the solar panels are down and want someone to check them out. And power's low and causing problems everywhere. Thanks, man. And why don't you hold on to this shovel? I won't need it for a while. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I was hoping you'd give me Sunshine that. Sunshine has constructed this botanical garden to help preserve the biodiversity of the rainforests which hold over 50% of the world's species. She thinks of it as a genetic library, in which each species is a book that might describe a new medicine, food, or Pretty good description of the compound. food chain as well in the Building rainforest, because kind of like, has become important yeah, everything survival. eats everything Scientists else, that's for damn sure. For instance, that over 1,400 rainforest plants could someday be found to have anti-cancer properties. Ah, yeah, they were touch Didn't they bring that up in, like, um, what was it, arachnophobia? That's why they were collecting the spiders in the Amazon jungle. I don't know, that was a pretty convoluted movie, wasn't it? Alright, we'll dig up the dirt. Okay, so we got the hydroelectric generator working. Excellent. Fully operational. Cool. Uh, so how do we fix up the solar panels? Yeah, okay. There's no, that's that's not gonna help long term, is it? Um So we meant to remove the bags? I don't know what's going on there. Oh no, didn't someone say they had something for us once the gener hydro generator's done? Hang on, can I I'm like just going eco friendly on this. I'm suspecting you might get something good for um putting that broken bottle in the bin. Um, oh no, it sent me all the way here. There was nothing exciting on this bit, was there? No. Alright. Great idea, but hang on to it for a bit longer. Okay. Oh no, I can cut it with the broken bottle. Yeah. Alright, no, that's smart. Just cut these bags off. Bottle cuts through the trash bags. Cool. And so what, I can just tie off the... Yeah, that's I was thinking that. Um, so solar panels are good. Focus the sun to heat water. Can put the trash bags away. Great idea, but the bags might come in handy. Um, oh, we can use it to replace the sail on the wind farm, even though this would never work. Whoa! <laughs> Glad we were out of the way of that. Right, so we fix the generator, uh, wind farm. Do we get anything else for going back to people? I just need to repair that um, split in the thing and I sh we should be right. Hello? Tick, 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 tick. I got any, like, pipe sealing equipment? Can I help me seal a pipe? What's up? I hear you've been helping Sunshine and Ozone too. Don't let us wear you out, man. We got enough emergencies going on Sunshine around here and to give us all also. Okay. But thanks. Ivy just told me that Hydro Power is back, thanks to you. She says you're rocking worlds, man. Keep it up. Hey, I got something for you on your first day. This is JJ Cool J, 
The album's called Jammin' with JJ. I'll trade you for that bucket. No, I need that bucket. <laughs> You're just gonna give me shitty music CD? Well, fuck your shit off. Fucking, let's have a listen. No, are you gonna let me listen to the... Yeah, we got a CD. Can we eject the fucking... Is there an eject button? No, well that's stupid. Why give me a CD if I can't like use it in the CD player? Anyway, uh, so I can hang on. Can we go back and see? This I point? see you have the same knack for mechanics as you do for robotics. The windmill's as good as new. If you keep this up, you're gonna put me out of a job. <laughs> Yuck. But really, good work, man. You gave me almost enough time to repair one of the eco skimmers. Hey, do you mind if I take that wrench back? I just need to tighten a few things and I'll be done here. You gonna swap me for something? No, you said the eco skimmer was working. Um. Oh, hang on, is it? No, it couldn't. We couldn't. Couldn't fill the slit with the CD. You're kidding. That's terrible. <laughs> I only clicked on that because it mentioned there was a. It was a tiny slit. Oh my god, we're gonna get run over by a truck. You're the new kid. I heard they had some swell new A1 activist on the way. You look like you could be the one. Oh, it's a cigar smoking guy. Jeez, I wonder who the mole might have been. Ah, place is holding up, I see. That said, I, I might be able to get some weed off him. I thought maybe some of the equipment might have been hurt. And now, it's all gone, I guess. Hey, I see they got you taking out the trash. <laughs> Don't sweat it. You gotta work your way up any place you go. Look at me. When I first got to MUCC, they had me driving a lawnmower. Now I got my own truck. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm a recycler now. You'll get up there too someday. Just do what they tell you and work hard. Like my mom always said. She said, Sludge, Sludge is my name. Sludge, you don't worry about it, none. <laughs> okay. One of these things is not like the other, that's you for sure. You just work as good as you know how, and they'll see you trying. Lots of wisdom in them words. Anyway, why has he got the shirt of the, the British Dennis the Menace as well? Drop behind schedule. I got a job to do. <laughs> See you later, kid. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Um. So I guess we did everything. Can we? Um. Maybe she wants a shovel back. Yeah. Hey, I saw you fix the solar panel. Isn't that strange? I mean, if they wanted to cut off our power, why didn't they just smash the receptors? It's like someone just wanted to slow us down. I'm gonna look outside and see what else is broken. Mind if I borrow the shovel and those work gloves? <sighs> Thanks. Well, thanks for cleaning out the inventory, I suppose. Okay. Oh. I'm receiving a signal from Ivy. She wants the green team to assemble at the hollow tank. Green team assemble. Yeah, right. Thanks for coming so quickly. I just wanted to say thank you for all the help. One more adjustment to the hollow tank, and this place will be back online. Green team, hello. Can you hear? Ivy, is that you? What in the blue blazes have been going on? I've been trying to get through all day. We've been working on a spill up in the North Sea. We'll get a team out there right away. What are the coordinates? Relax. Relax, the spill's contained. We didn't need your help after all. I'm sorry we couldn't respond sooner. We had a break-in last night, which left most of our equipment out of service. You know, you really should do something about that facility. I've always thought that security was a little lax there. The MUCC Corporation is going to depend on the green team in times of crisis. We this won't happen again. <laughs> I'm sure you're on top of the situation. Just wanted to express my concern. Anyway, I had another reason for calling. My team has hit a snag trying to vitrify the oil at sea. We were hoping to get that culture, that bacteria riptide from testing. You know, the cold water variety could speed up the process, save a lot of people a lot of money. What do you say? Certainly. I'll send someone within the hour. Ah, wonderful. I knew you'd come through. Listen, I gotta run. Thanks, as always, for the speedy response, and I hope you solve your, uh, you know, security problems. Well, he's just hey, downright nice these days, isn't he? Is a sort of training flight. It'll be a quick hop across the Atlantic and back to drop off some bacteria. Oh, just a quick, quick hop across the Atlantic, sure. Your first day, but I'm sure you can handle it. Take one of the eco skimmers. You'll find a supply of Riptide's bacteria on board. Good luck. 
Yeah, cool. Alright. Good to go for a flight. Report to the Eagle Skimmer. Alright, to the hangar. And he did say he'd gotten one fixed stump, so we should be able to jump straight in. Whoa! Is there nothing good in, like, the dash or anything like that? Like, you usually find some loose change or, um, lollies or something like that. Um, I'll see your spin. Okay. Off we go. And I'm guessing the blue bits are like solar panels. Is this meant to be a solar panel of like jet? My satellite feed is picking up something from the BBC. Luckily, the spill was contained thanks to the speedy reaction of MUCC Corporation. But where's the green team? Was this spill too small to make the green team disaster list? We might have thought so an hour ago. But how about this? I know they're mess going for like Brazil. you know BBC if reporter, anything, but yeah, it's get not the green quite there, is it? It would be this unidentified contraption, which is cutting gashes through the rainforest. Even the local farmers agree should be left alone. The green team's supposed to stop this kind of destruction, but where are they? This is something Ivy should There's know like about. There's like five Hold of us. You deal with all the problems of the world. Yeah, righto. Thanks, Gaia. We intercepted What's a distress call from Brazil right just as you were leaving. Ozone's on the way. What's the latest, Ozone? I think I'm approaching a spot. This is terrible. Looks like a golf course. This is like on, Manny from I'm Modern Family's run. dad. Gaia, keep a comm link open to Ozone's eco skimmer. If something happens, we may need you to like his real life dad, dad not Benjamin started. Bratt, like he was in the well, show. These are the coordinates provided by Mr. Greenstreet. Only I do not see the MUCC cleanup team. Nor do I see any sign of an oil spill. We've been sent to the wrong place. And this is strange. My sensors tell me that the craft approaching from the north is a green team eco-skimmer, which of course is impossible. We are the only operatives in the area. <laughs> what? <laughs> is there a bomb at us? That's not eco-friendly. We do not have time to follow the other eco-skimmer. So what now we gotta deal with the... A giant hole in the tanker's hull has begun spilling oil into the sea. The marine ecology and the ecology of the shoreline are both in grave danger. We've got to patch the hole and contain the oil slick immediately. Okay, so we've got petro dispersant, so that'll help clean up the oil spill. Uh, I guess it's too wobbly to get over the, um, yeah, a bit unstable. Well, we are at sea. Like, um, what else we got? We've got the skimmer. Is there anything worth taking in the skimmer. Oh, can we just go back home? Yeah, let's go. Um, no, maybe I should save first. Oh, no, that's right. This thing's got a, um, autosave system. It just starts here at certain points. Hope you know what you're doing. See ya, jailbird. Um, did we just get a game over? So the eco terrorist <laughs> returns. You oh, that's um, that's answers. the dumb guy from Blow um, weather disaster. On TV, <laughs> but this isn't TV, kiddo. Well, nice they got him back at least. Either. It is In a video this game. World, we have rules. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Team Extreme Terrorists get their due. <laughs> and like, hey, you uh, want to try that again? Alrighty, so we're back. Um, yeah, I couldn't figure out what was going on on stream, so I had to turn the stream off and figure it out myself. But I also had to get more beers to um, deal with this shit, because I, like, took me a while to figure it out. I don't think Vinny would have figured it out in a reasonable time frame either. Because that's the other thing as well. Like, I haven't got 10,000 people in chat nagging me to get shit done in a game. I can sort of go at my own pace. But yeah, so I'll go through each problem as I came across it. I've only played up to past this point. Uh, you go to Brazil next. But um, just wanted to show off what you had to actually do. Um, so I can't go across this gangplank because she's a bit rickety. Put the bolts in. And I've got to turn everything up again. That's right. Yeah, resets every time you um, close down the game. Listen to those soothing ocean oh, sounds. Nearly one third of the world's oil. 
They can be taller than most skyscrapers and can operate in water as deep as 1,300 feet. So yeah, we walk over the oil well. Um, what have we got? What have we got? So we've got a table with a blowtorch. Um, we use it to blow the lock off the door. Where we grab a toothbrush, uh, some industrial adhesive, and a bar of soap. And it's exactly what we actually need. Um, so we need to... This is a well bot. You use this to cap a well, um, which we'll have to do later on. We've got a locked door. I couldn't figure out what the deal was with the locked door. Like, um, try and spray it, spray it with a blowtorch, um, unaffected by the torch. I'll point that out as well. There's a hint button that you can keep clicking, and it apparently adds half an hour to your game time. I don't know what the deal is with that, whether it affects the ending or anything like that, but. It says, yeah, the hinges on the door are actually weaker than the door itself. So you just cut off the hinges. And I hate this logic in most adventure games. Like, you can pick up the control room door, stick it in your pocket. It's so stupid. Um, we can also grab a fan blade, which we'll need in a second. Uh, check these computer screens here. Oh no, this radar shows a pod of whales approaching from the south. They are being threatened by the oil well, which seems to have been uncapped by the recent explosion. We had better recap the well before a cloud of oil forms in the path of these unsuspecting saltwater mammals. Yeah, yeah, so this is why we have to cap the well. There's uh, whales waiting on us that want to get through. I love the thought of that too. Like, every time you use a hint, it adds half an hour to the game time. So, and I, like, repeatedly clicked it till I was, like, had 10 hours of game time up. And I'm just imagining these whales just sitting there. Gigantic watches on their flippers just going, ooh, 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 ooh. But anyway, um, so yeah, we can't actually use the Wellcat bot yet. Uh, it's got a rusty claw that we have to fix. Um, so we could use some of the, um, the oil here. Uh, we can't get the thing off the barrel though. Um, I checked hints on this one. So, um, the third hint here was an otter can help you out. I'm just like, what the fuck are they talking about? Seriously. But that is correct. An otter actually does help you out. Um, but I'll just walk over here and show you the problem. So we've got... As terrible oil as spill looks, that we've got to clean we are up seeing as well. only a small drop of the millions of barrels of crude oil mm. that enter the oceans every year. Actually, I have to turn so I can stand a little bit. So we apparently need to get closer. Um, I was trying to, I was actually trying to blowtorch this railing off, but it's not the railing we need. Uh, it's saying we need some kind of ladder. So we got to mosey back over here. Yep, head back over. And I'm sitting there thinking there's a perfectly good ladder here. Like you could just blowtorch the top of that and use that, but nope. We gotta go over here. You can actually try and blowtorch the all drums, but you instantly get a game over. It's not that exciting. But this is the one we need. So we take our ladder. And then we go over and we somehow weld it to the fucking rail. And head down. Oil lingers like a poison in the world's oceans. Much of the damage is indirect, rippling outward from a spill like a shockwave. For instance, when zooplankton die from exposure to oil, the fish that feed on Yeah, I was going to point that out as well. Like, I was trying to... There's no walkthrough for this game, so I'm kind of flying at the seat of my pants trying to figure it out. Um, I found a video that's got... There's, like, a little secret um, video that you can watch that's a behind-the-scenes thing, but you have to type in a cheat for it. Uh, it's quite on the set. I'll show that off at the end of the game. But, um... They will also mention you can go shift and one of the function buttons to skip levels. That didn't work. You can apparently shift click on certain things to skip the puzzle. That also doesn't work. Uh, not for me, not for this version anyway. But yeah, we can try and plug it up. Plug up the hole with the door. It doesn't work. Gotta use some glue on it. Industrial strength. It must be like... That would be a lot stronger than narrow bird, I'll tell you that much. Many fish and shoreline worms may survive a spill, 
However, some become toxic and poison animals that prey on them, such as birds, eagles, bears, and deer. Okay. Um, so we're gonna come back here. I'll just show off the the problem. Um, yeah. So this is the the two. This works the two robots over there. All containment bloom. Not gonna. It keeps bringing up problems for this thing. Um, one of them being is there's something you have to make oil foamier or something to actually have like the skimmer robot pick it up. Um, we also need to put a containment boom around the whole spill. But we'll do that. So we can use our little um, petro dispersant bacteria to clump up the oil and then it can be picked up by the robot. Uh, we actually have to fix both robots first. Um, so we've got to attach the boom. And just click the boom on there, hook that up. And it doesn't tell you here, but yeah, if you go to the diagnostic screen, it'll tell you the skimmer bot doesn't have a rudder. So we use the fan blade as a rudder. Never, yeah, you never figure, this is brute forcing. This is clicking everything on everything to try and figure it out. But yeah, so, oh, we actually have to deploy them as well. So go back and push the button, lower them into the seat. There we go. Right, and go over here. Yeah, this was weird to demonstrate authorization by clicking in proper order. So you actually have to go into Gaia's database and read up on oil spills to get the thing for the puzzle. Uh, I can't remember if it tells you in this. Yeah, in case of a small, yep, safety personnel's highest priority. It, you have to go in pri order of priority. Um, which is just on this thing is you just go in reverse. So, safety first, notify authorities, contain spill, protect the shoreline, clean up spill. Easy done. Um, so yeah, we put a boom around the, um, the dealy. Uh, I'll turn cycles down a little bit more. And this is straightforward, just move your little containment robot around the spill. Put a net up. Did that work? Yeah, there we go. And this one, this one gives us a time limit. So we've got this little oil cleaning skimmer robot. And we only have three minutes to actually clean this all up. You've got to be a little bit methodical here. And... Yep, this is the last little bit. There we go. Oil spill is no longer detected. Should check the cleanup bots again. Okay, so we head over the cleanup bots. Hit the button. Oh, we found an shivering. otter. The cooling oil has formed black icy clumps in his fur, ruining the fur coat's insulation. We yeah, I didn't some. realize that as well. Like, um, the ice prevents, um, like, it sticks on feathers and furs and prevents, um, them being insulated from cold, so they actually freeze to death. That's the main issue with, um, oil spills. But if we soap up our toothbrush. And yeah, clean this otter. Yeah, he's looking a bit smoother. Toothbrush alone won't clean it. Yep, put it in the soap. Otter stop shivering. Seems to be getting a bit happier. So, toothbrush. The clean, happy otter will recover and leaves us a present. That's a skimmer bot. That's a happy otter. Alright. So, he's giving us a shell. Cheers, buddy. And then we can go over and use the shell to um, pry up the oil barrel. Oil barrel, I should say. I gotta stop chewing on my words. I'm terrible with that. Right. So, pry that open. That slips through our fingers, so we're gonna use the L empty vial. Pick up the oil. Who'd have thought oil would solve this problem? And then we, yeah, oil up the rusty claw and deploy it. I don't know why the um, frames just drop. I, I think there might be like a skip in the um, in the actual ISO for the disc, which is why this bit plays up. But don't quote me. All right, and we go back and we hit up the control panel for the well capping robot. 
and the game just turns into Lunar Lander, so that little green thing is the, the bot. Just don't touch the sides. I, like, I remember we played Backpacker a while back, and this was one of the um, puzzles. Oh, not puzzles, like the mini games for the, um, for like a space engineer. And just slowly, slowly get him down, gently land. There we go. Thank you. Captain Well. The lake has been contained with minimal loss. I think that's a boomer thing, being good at okay. Lunar Lander. Actually, knowing what Lunar way. Lander is as well. I must wonder what is taking us so long. And, oh, they want us to go back to the Eco Skimmer. So, hopefully, we can go back and not get arrested this time. I forgot to actually check out what um, Dumb Guy's name was. I, yeah, like, totally blanking on it. It's kind of like. Shaggy, but not shaggy. That's all I can think of. But yeah, let's head back. But yeah, that was such a pain. It's so hard to figure out these games have when you, you haven't got a walkthrough. What on earth's going on out there? We have very strange news to report. Explain to me what this news and story is. And so, about. like, we just we got the let's robot sitting between our legs. Is that it? Photo again. Notice the 45 degree tilt of the tail fins. This is definitely a I'm green a BBC reporter. Apparently, I am meant to be taken seriously. Some kind of we ramp. somehow all sound Here like moss from the IT crowd. Report any eco skimmer <laughs> sightings to WACH TV immediately. This craft is armed and considered very dangerous. I have a feeling that's the actual the weatherman has made an error of uh, guy. The craft of the news the story does not belong to the green team. I believe you guys. I did read up on him too. I'll actually, um, when we see here, him in game, like I'll bring it up. The team just hired a terrorist. The United Nations has surrounded our facility and begun interrogating the operatives. They especially want to talk to you and our new recruit. You must come back to headquarters at once. Oh, we're being Anyone accused of something we it's haven't done? The team is a control panel. Never I heard of that loose. before. Green team, can you hear me? The trees are dying and I can't do a thing. I'm being set up. Help me, somebody! Ozone, are you all right? Ozone, are you there? My calculations Ozone. indicate that we are less than a thousand miles from the coast of Brazil. Yeah, we could so we're going to head to Brazil and help out no, Ozone because he's trapped in some forest-cutting machine. I've ordered back to base, as the United Nations has instructed me to do. I can do nothing else. All right, so then we're on our own. And I think we can actually, we do get the option to head back. And we'll probably get the same cutscene as we got with um, the first time. So let's go to Brazil. And, oh, thank fuck. Plotting a course to Brazil. I hope we get there in time to help Ozone. Fortunately, the site of the destruction is not too far away. <laughs> Where my baby? When my baby spills some oil, I go to Rio, Rio. De Janeiro. Yes. My sensors indicate that the machine is nearby, and that ozone is trapped inside. The kidnapping of ozone is very strange. I can think of simpler ways to neutralize a green team operative. Yeah, that's a weird, weird statement. The robot going, I know how to take you guys out. Um, oh, we have to leave our blowtorch in the skimmer. Oh, what the fuck? Um, okay. <laughs> weird guy yeah i guess he's trapped in the machine and just doing sick burnouts everywhere all right let's um see what we can do to stop this oh yeah straight in the brazilian rainforest no equipment nothing um so we're gonna path i should be keeping an eye on these compass headings too so i don't get lost uh oh little shack can we just camp up here? Although they have comprise only 7% of the Earth's surface, they are home to more plant and animal species than the rest of the planet combined. They are perhaps the richest genetic library on Earth. Roughly 25% of all... Is. I have that, that on the cards too. I think I played the Oregon the Trail on stream like once and they did a sequel uh, called the Amazon Trail. So it was the same thing except you were um, boating down the, um, down the Amazon. Right, what do we got? We have a soil core sampler. Uh, we have a broken beaker. We have a normal beaker. Uh, we have a container one, container two, and a butterfly net. Can we catch butterflies? 
No, we can just leave. Okay. Now let me catch a butterfly. Can't use a butterfly net on water, so we gotta wait for him to flap through. No. Snag a butterfly. Butterfly. Oh. Oh, did we lose him? But we had to. We got containers to put him in. Snag a butterfly. You have a healthy butterfly. Snag a butterfly. You already have a butterfly from this area. Butterfly flies off. Next time, put it in something. Hey guys, I'd say this book will tell us what we're meant to be doing. Yamanagi Expedition Log. Claude Boucher. Okay, <laughs> damn it, I can't go British on this one. I go to French. So right here I will stay. I will stop this senseless destruction if I have to protect the trees with my bare body. Sounds like you did from the loops of things, like the camp's abandoned. Anything else good in the camp? And apparently continue into the tent? Oh no, that's just the book. Okay. We did do the book already. Any so I gotta check on hot spots. That's water. That's a beaker. Uh, take a sample from the stream. Okay, so we have the little clearing there. Oh, we got some huts. Let's see what's in the huts. Um, smoldering fire. Okay. Some, I'm guessing that's like hanging meat. I have a cup. And I have a rubber tap. So they're gonna get me to tap some rubber trees, I guess. Okay. Uh, anything else good? You have a herbal medicine in your hand. Okay, a fair few inventory items this time around. Fair enough. Um, I don't know why I'm collecting samples. That just takes us back there. Okay. Something off in the forest this way. This oh. is the tree where the villagers harvested rubber. Notice the tap hole in this tree. We call it the site rubber as one of the many sustainable resources the rainforest could provide to human society. Rubber. Sap begins to rush from the fresh cuts. Okay. Cup fits like it has been there before. Okay. We have a cup of sap. Yeah, right. Really. Is it rubber though? Yeah, I don't know. So that's how you make natural rubber, it's rubber tree sap. And I guess we can go back out the clearing from here. I can't see any other areas that I can go in the forest. Now that the trees are gone, this region's topsoil has no protection against the rain. It runs into this river, leaving behind land that is unable to absorb water. This process, called silting, greatly disrupts waterways in rainforest areas, resulting in flooding during the rainy season and droughts during the dry season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of issues with uh, silt up in Queensland. We have a rock. Um, so we can't do anything with the soil. Can't really get another. Can I tip this out? Can't use jungle water on water. Okay. Um, can't do much else here. So what else we got? That's back of a thing. That's sort of racing around. Oh fuck! Okay, get out of the way. Okay. Um, apparently can't just jump in front of the fucking tree clearing thing. Well, I didn't think I'd like. I thought I was trying to get to it. Um, well, can we... Ah, oh, shit. No, did it again. Out of the way of that. Jump back on the ship. Can I use that blowtorch now? I do need to kind of start a fire. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting we got the hint system, too. Right, hints. No hints available. Okay, as soon as you click on it, it's just, we got to take it out of commission somehow. Okay. Um, so the hints seem to be like area based. Let's try a hint. Small rocks are useful for large tasks. Oh, can we throw the rock to jam up the machine? Oh, it says I can go to here though. Hang on. This is a terrible tragedy. 
This land can no longer support a rainforest ecology, at least not for several hundred years. Hmm. <laughs> it's pretty terrible what happens. That's dirt. Okay, I'll grab some. No, I can't use herbal medicine. Take a sample of soil from the deforested area. Okay. Apparently, go further. The trees in the distance is being burned to create more land for farming. The farmers doing the burning, who are often very poor, depend upon recently cleared land for survival. Unfortunately, the farms they establish remain fertile for only a few years, after which more forests must be destroyed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, that is the large boulder, which we can't shift. Uh, this rock looks ready to roll. Yeah, you apparently get one for free. Okay. Um, and that's just all for the boulder. So we at least know we can roll this boulder at what's his face. Um, okay. So we got jungle water. Um, was this the way I went? Yeah, okay. So we got the hill there. We got rock racing around. Can we get like a stick or anything? Yeah, okay. Can't go that way. Something back at the clearing, I suppose. I have a palm frond. Okay. Oh, don't tell me, like, have we got, like, an inventory limit? you are already got a frond. Let the tree be. Oh, no, I can use the palm frond to, um... Thingo. Um, fan the fire. Okay, I can try that at least. Uh, it wasn't there, it was in here. Use palm front. You fan the flame into life. Okay, in excellent. The sap congeals into a rubber like substance. Okay. The fresh rubber seals the beaker good as new. Okay. Thing. Well, we're next to a rubber tree. There we go, we have a large stick. Excellent. Was there anything else? I saw like a vine or something? Maybe we can melt it down for some fine sauce? I don't know. Um, alright. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Through here. So we should be able to push the rock at the fucking machine now. Uh, so that was back up the hill. Lug ourselves up. Yeah, fancy looking butterfly there too. I don't know if I need it for anything. Alright, up the top. Good idea, but you need more leverage. Oh, put the smaller rock next to the big rock. Place smaller rock under the boulder, and we just stick between two rocks. And hopefully, we can just let this go. Boulder rolls away, revealing something underneath. Some native pottery. Okay. So we broke. I'm hoping, hoping this hit the. There we go. Yeah, that'll stop you. Excellent. Oh, it's you. You must have pushed the rock. Good thinking. Now we just have to get this thing to open its hatch. I'm afraid that's going to be up to you. I'm a little incapacitated <laughs> right now. Don't so forget your own time limit. I, I really need to poop. And the next thing I knew, I was in here. Getting this door open won't be easy. The computer system's nuts. I mean, you can't even roll down a window without going through a convoluted AI construct. I guess a giant clear cutter wasn't interesting enough. So they gave this thing a brain. I mean, they made it want to cut down trees. That means you're gonna have to use that control panel down there to reprogram the system's starting propositions. Maybe it would help to bring the machine examples of all the damage caused by all this deforestation. <laughs> you really? give up cutting trees. Maybe it will care you're more gonna about You're gonna convince it to like, stop cutting oh, trees to door. like showing it. You know how it's fucking up the rainforest. Okay. Well, let's look at the control panel. Let's see what we need to grab. Destruction of rainforest must proceed. Uh, forestation, positronic brain program. It's always a fucking positronic brain, isn't it? Ever since Asimov did his thing. The six laws of destruction indicate the need for removal of the rainforest. Laws can be modified by diagnostic procedure. Select the law for analysis, place samples in the scanner, press green button. Okay, um, so I think we've got everything we need for the, um, Thing, eh? Trees destroy animal habitats. Yeah, tree roots erode the land. Yeah. 
I mean, but yeah, we'll put both of them in there. Analyzing sample. Internal or the inaccurate the change program. Area contains a hundred times more eroded topsoil than the water from the forest. Perhaps tree roots prevent erosion rather than cause it. Yeah, they usually do. Let's continue cutting. Oh, you can just empty out the containers. Okay. Um, so you put the soil in this one. Yeah. So that was from the dirty bit, I think. So we're going to go back to... Ah, oh, that's some dirt. There we go. Yep, fresh jungle soil. Oh, hang on, i got to put it in the container, don't I? Can't just use the sample. Okay. So back to there. We've got good soil and we've got bad soil. Destruction of rainforest must proceed. Both of those in there. Analyzing sample. Alright. Strange. Destroying the forest seems to have left soil fertility unchanged. Perhaps rainforests do not deprive the soil of nutrients after all. Hmm. So we need to we need to compare the animals. So we gotta catch a butterfly in this area and get one from the thing I um Yep, snagged it. You have a distressed butterfly. He's certainly distressed. Let's go find a peaceful one for comparison. And that was back at the um, camp, wasn't it? Okay. I grab more than a butterfly. Imperative. Destruction um, of rainforest must proceed. Yep. Okay. Analyzing sample. Interesting data. However, doesn't, it doesn't oh. address the selected law. Okay, maybe destroy animal habitat? Analyzing sample. Yeah, okay. The butterfly from the forest is much healthier than the specimen from the clear-cut area. Perhaps the trees sustain animal habitats rather than destroy them. That is logical. I wonder why I did not conclude this before. Yeah, probably because you've been programmed not to. Um... Rainforests provide no useful products. Oh, this herbal medicine. We probably Analyzing need to. Sample. Oh, no, that fixed it up. Okay. This is a painkiller made from flowers that grow in the forest. A medicine unknown to the industrialized world. Maybe this forest is not as useless as I thought. Yeah, okay. Um, well, this is a human made thing, so I scan the pottery. Analyzing well. sample. Yeah, there we go. Fix that one up. This seems to be contemporary pottery from an indigenous human civilization. This forest is inhabitable after all. Grab orchids. I put the bee in here. Oh, I got an angry bee. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, I didn't find anything else. We gotta prove that it is reducing the population um yep small rock small stick can't do anything else with them yeah we'll just put this on the scanner and see what it says um imperative destruction of rainforest must proceed just put a bee on there analyzing sample not enough, enough data. data. Need, need comparative, comparative sample. sample. Analyzing sample. Yeah, we fixed it. I was shown it promotes biodiversity. Okay. Alert. We did it. Old principles disproven. New principles emerging. Must analyze. Tree cutting violates principle one. Aid the environment. I have made errors. Who am I? What am I doing? Must heal what has been injured. Must plant seeds. Why do I have axes instead of hands? Why well, if they didn't have, like, AI must restrictions must in there, you'd think that you'd just be able to confuse it with a paradox or something like that. What is the sound of one hand clapping, computer? Amazing! You changed this machine's whole outlook on life. If only people learn this quickly. Please remove your companion from the cockpit. I must begin planting seeds. 
My database insists that I will never be able to repair what I have damaged, but I must try. Please hurry. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I'm a seed planting machine now. Okay. Right on. You've changed its mind about the destruction. So what do we... Yeah, we just save Ozone. Ah, oh, that's much better. Thanks. Seeds? Planting seeds? What's going on down there? Oh, it's you. So there are two green team brats down there. I've been wanting to talk to you. You oh, in particular. Brad, I'm 36. Oh, Tell me what in the world this is all about. Nothing can stop it. No tree is big enough. No mountain tall enough. No weapon strong enough. Who would send such a beast into the rainforest? Wait a minute. The machine is broadcasting a message. Green team, come in, green team. Where are you? This is Ozo. Do you read me? As we suspected, a green team operative is inside. Ah, uh, yes. Spill. So given us negative this, press. The yeah, fuck the press. Has gone on a rampage. We're being framed, Mr. Greenstreet. I came down there. I'm afraid your so-called green team has become a stain on the MUCC company image. You've got to listen to me. I was taken prisoner and... I wasn't born yesterday. Don't think I don't know about the green team's plans to sabotage the biosphere. Oh, yes. <laughs> the pattern is all too clear. Yeah, we want to put sabotage the biosphere. we got to kill Paul and Shaw. Then, well, then the Fuck that guy. You'll be Save Carly before we go, though. You'll probably try to destroy God, the I've... ozone layer or something. Who can say? <laughs> But you aren't going to put God, one I remember on that movie. MUCC. No, oh. sir, we just bought Dennis. an eyewear manufacturer. You lay one finger on the ozone and we'll get eye protection and sunscreen to everyone on the planet. For a uh, small fee, of course. Small fee? <laughs> that face, though. There's something fishy about Mr. Green Street's tone of voice. I'm going back to headquarters to warn Ivy. I'll see you there. Yeah, right. Eh? Report to the Eco Skimmer. Okay. I think we can manage that. Yeah, so I looked up the guy's weatherman slash um, bad guy. Um, so his name's Bill Ward. Um, apparently did like some obscure anime voice acting in the 90s. Um, most recent thing, one of the most recent things he's done is I Zombie. Um, and he's also in Red vs. Blue, so he's got, there's a connection there, because I know Raul Cole is in, uh, iZombie, and he's hung out with the, previously hung out with the Funhouse team, so I'm guessing he might know someone at Rooster Teeth. I can't make out the nationality of the intruders, but it looks like they're after the missile silo. Am I in this game? They've been, oh my heavens, it's one of the missiles. We're going, man, What's going on? it's full of dangerous animals. That's the last one. Get him on the boat to get him some sunglasses. We don't want a bunch of flying scientists on our hands. I can't hear anything over like the background noise. We should investigate this disturbance in Antarctica. Maybe I can like turn that down or something. Do it's all right for the FMV. It's just in game. It's a pain in the ass. Hmm. Okay. Um. Research station then. Guy returns the items you don't need. Great. As we travel south. My sensors are detecting an abnormally strong intensification of ultraviolet radiation. Something unusual is definitely happening over the continent of Antarctica. Well, we just saved ozone. We Perhaps just plug him back up with the hole. Ozone hole. We have reached the origin of the distress call, a facility established by MUCC Corporation to repair the ozone layer. I cannot make radio contact. The place seems to be deserted. I wonder what happened. That was a good thing to find out. So we're in Antarctica, so I better... It just turned up all me fucking audio, so I'll turn down ambient shit. And a little savey. So, oh, I can turn cycles back up now. That'll speed things up. Right, um... Oh yeah, this is empty, that's Brazil. So we're saving and we're going... Oh, get rid of all that. Fucking madly mash the keys, because I can't... Um, and so to go, I think that's how you spell it. Cool. Alright, yep. My station in the middle of nowhere. Oh! Ooh, that water's cold. Am I meant to grab the fish though? That's a fish. Okay, I'm meant to fish it out, I guess. 
Um, so we got a station there. We got something over there. We got ooh, some sort of ice tank. It's starting to get cold. Oh, am I going to freeze to death? Am I? Pull the metal pole off the machine. Um, experimental laser model. Enter authorization code. Well, we can't do anything there. That laser would warm us up, though. Guess we've got to find shelter. Penguins and a killer whale. Okay. Can't reach the ice line. The water's mighty cold. Can I um, poke this killer whale? Hey, buddy. Nah, you'd probably lose a hand in that deal. Can I poke him with the pole? Can't use a metal pole on a killer whale. Okay. Oh, it gave us our blowtorch back, though. That's helpful. Um, can we spear the fish with the pole? Core body temperature is dangerously low. Okay. You snag a fish. Sweet. Alright. So I guess we got to get into the station. The wheel is jammed. Um, pole gives you leverage to turn the wheel. But the door is locked. That is the lock mechanism. It needs something. Um, I'm going to kind of freeze to death out here if we don't sort this shit out. Um, fucking let me in. It needs something. Okay. So is there the... Well, we're kind of freezing to death. Um, oh. You should find some protection before it's too late. I have a frozen rope. Can we unfreeze the rope? Thaw out the rope. Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Oh, the audio is not working for this one. This is that um, other guy that was driving the truck before. I think his name is Sludge. Mm. I, he's making weird faces. I can't actually work out what he's saying. Um, but he's definitely a frozen boy. Can we have your jacket, though? You're obviously going to fuck off in a second. <laughs> At least we, we, we're freezing too, mate. What the hell is that background noise? Yeah, all right, you're cold. Blah, 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 blah. I guess we can't use the blowtorch on ourselves to warm up either. Um, yeah, don't know what the guy is saying. No, come on, I want your jacket. Shit. All right. Yeah, um, take some sunglasses. You can see much better now. Oh, maybe we're meant to actually find, like, um, hidden objects or something. Or objects that were hidden. Um, surprised we found that. Can't do much with the laser. Um, can we at least get back in the ship and not freeze to death? Because this would be temperature controlled, surely. We got a rope. We got some... Maybe we can... Yeah, I don't know what the fuck we're meant to be doing. We're at least getting items. That's always the start. That's the thing you need to do to um survive so we had that we had that anything else that on that horizon just penguins okay oh can we trade you have frozen to death shit <laughs> well that's a bit unfair how do i i was trying to figure shit out wasn't i all right back to antarctica then okay I'll see the dorsal fin. Yep, rope him in. Okay, fish. No, fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! How the fuck? So, do I have to prevent the. Yeah, okay, penguins would be happy, happier closer in. I get that. Why can't I grab the fucking security card when it's pushed closer? Because I didn't find any other areas. I haven't got any other items to use to fucking bring shit back in. I can't really use... You seal the fissure but the rope burns up. Okay, okay. Right, eh? 
So now I should be able to... That, uh, that makes no sense to me, by the way. Right, get the fish. Got the fish. It's just going to melt the ice. It's not going to freeze back in the same spot. Yep, body temperature is dangerously low. Give fish to penguin. Oh, well, Papa is so unhappy. Penguin allows you to get the card. Fuck you, penguin. Frozen to death twice because of you. Alright, I should be able to put cycles back up now. Back up to 50. Right. Ha! Caught ya! <laughs> My boss was right. He said, Sludge, hide by the front door. That green team frat's gonna break into the lab, and here you are. <laughs> he sure is smart. Someday I'm gonna think like him, and I'll be an executive too. I'm already his right hand man, he says. That's why he gave me this camera. I'm helping him cover a story. Yeah, buddy. Like my boss says, this ecology thing's a big news story. Somebody's got to be the bad guy. Why not you? <laughs> See you on TV, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, like, if, it, if he'd gone to taking the photo, I should have immediately, like, I, like, unzipped my fly and pulled my dick out. Yeah, try getting this on TV. Ha <laughs> ha. It would have twisted it in some way. Green team guy exposes dick. And just sensed it for TV. Alright, so we got the security card. We can put the security card in. Card fits perfectly, unlocks the door, and then we can lever that. And what the fuck are you? Can we. Aerosol bot? Fuck you, aerosol bot. Hang on, turn down. I'm fucking freezing to death because of you, you prick. And. Okay, um, there's probably something in the database regarding aerosols. So I'll see what we actually need to use to, um, get rid of it. Um, landfills, oceans, not industrial data. Yeah, this is obviously a puzzle later on. Atmosphere. Ah, air pollution. Um... Carbon dioxide. No, he's an aerosol. I can just set him on fire, can't I? He'll just explode if I hit him with a blowtorch. That might be the way to go. Strange aluminium shards fly everywhere. Oh, sorry, aluminum. Alright, so we made it in the base. Alright, so we're back with this. Um, So I was playing this off stream. This is... um. Operation Eco Nightmare Team Extreme, so it's the sequel to that weather game that uh, Vinny and myself played a while back. Um, so, what have we done? Um, we stopped an oil leak, uh, we went to the Brazilian rainforest, we nearly froze to death in the snow. You'll see all this on the video when it comes when we come back to it. But yeah, we've gotten through the snow, we're in the, a base in the Arctic. And we've got some stuff to do. Um, so we've got, what was it? It's like a missile in here. Uh, this is locked apparently. So we can't really do much, um, I think. So we can check these monitors. Yeah, it gives you this whole spiel about ozone depletion. Uh, that's, yeah, chlorofluorocarbons all that sort of shit and so long story short they've come up with a way to um fix up the holes in the ozone layer um it's apparently you can shoot chlorine with lasers and that creates a chemical reaction which creates ozone which fills in the holes but um we need to know this for a puzzle um so the only way to unlock the uh the base over here the missile base thing is punch in some information on the computer um, and it's very specific questions like how many mozo molecules can be destroyed with one chlorine module mo molecule sorry um, so you've actually got to research this um, most of it you learn on the screens a bit of it you have to open up um, this fella's diary uh, a dude called Carmichael um, 
because he's the one doing the lasers. Um, what's his whole thing? Yeah, bit of a crackpot, but better than the crackpots that are about. This missile is apparently full of... Um, yeah, CFCs to actually break the ozone layer more uh, as part of the, conspir the corporate conspiracy. But yeah, thankfully I've done all this already, so I can at least show off the answers to these questions. Um, start with this one. Wavelength of UV rays. Oh, you have to use your database as well to find some of these questions, but um, yeah, something goes buggy with the game, and when you bring up the database at this point, it goes really slowly and can potentially crash. So I just found the answers already. Um, so the wavelength of UV rays needed to produce ozone is 320 nanometers. I think that's nanometers. Percentage of atmospheric chlorophene. Ugh, sorry, clicked in the mic. Uh, percentage of atmospheric chlorine that comes from man-made compounds is 85 percent. And I believe the atmospheric layer that the lasers focus on is the stratosphere. And I actually googled this one and found it out. Um, you can apparently destroy a hundred... yeah. What is it? One chlorine molecule can destroy a hundred thousand ozone molecules. That's a hundred thousand. Oh no, it's not stratosphere. Yeah, you can sort of click on these to get it right. Is it mesosphere? Troposphere. There we go. Uh, payload information, Vulcan class rockets, unarmed, payload locked, ozone depleting substances, uh, missiles. It seems like you have inadvertently armed the missiles. This could be a problem. Mm -hmm. We've unlocked the payload. I think we head in here and this payload's unlocked. Oh no, you've triggered a launch. That's not good. Uh, let's get out of here. So yeah, we've just... Missiles are launching. We must find a way to stop them before they reach the outer atmosphere. Okay. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Right. Well, let's, um, let's fix this up, shall we? Okay. Must shoot down the missiles. Alright, well, let's go out. We happen to have a laser just sitting outside, which is good. Um, so let's go and hit that up. Brr, you must shoot down the missiles. Where's the machine? Here it is. Yeah, so you can jump in the um, thing, though. Starting to get cold. Now, the authorization code, it's in the diary. It's the guy, Carmichael's birth date, which is. Uh, 07, uh, so 13th of July, 1966. Now, this is the worst fucking... This minigame was at the end of fucking, um... Uh, the last game. So, imagine trying to do analog controls with, um... If you had hovered your finger over the that top of the, um... Of the the Alright, no, we're fucking up the world. We're gonna shoot down these missiles. No, too quick. Chlorine from the so it sucks, yeah, like, it's analog from the center point, so you gotta be real fucking hell. Did we get that one? No. The ozone hole is getting bigger. Okay. There we go, we got one. We gotta get it eight, about eight or so, I think. Oh, come on. No, I, I legit hate end. this minigame. All life everywhere depends on you. Well, worse comes worse if we get a failure at this point. We can, um. Oh, come on. That one's a bit bullshit. Come on. Yeah, I've got to save for the next bit. And I've got footage for the cutscene anyway. Did we get that one? Yeah, just got that one. Can you not? Fucking. Oh my god. Try shooting more. I. Oh, we got it anyway? What? Yeah, this is just very poorly programmed. And then I go on, go away. Lots of sunscreen. Oh, dear. Right. No, it just doesn't... Oh, we just got it. Okay. 
Yeah, like you can see how little I'm moving the mouse and how quickly the cursor's going on the other end. It's a pain in the ass. Who thought this was a good idea? And we just got that one. Okay. Yeah, now I can see where the paths are. It's a bit sort of helpful. Oh, the ultraviolet radiation is reaching dangerous levels. Yeah, we know that. One more. I think. No, 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 no. no. Ah, you shit. Damage to ozone not yet permanent. Just do not miss again. Oh, great. No pressure. We saved the world. Oh, thank fuck. We saved the world. Good work. We have just averted a global catastrophe. Now let's get back to the eco skimmer so that. Hold on. The emergency broadcast system has just begun carrying an announcement from MUCC Corporation. Mm. Oh, tardy, yes. Let's take a look at the Green Team operation in Antarctica so that the UN peacekeeping force can size up the adversary. <laughs> Well, uh, that's the operative there. Um, you can that's see supposed the to be us. Right down near the bottom. It's just before the break-in. Oops. I see the water pile is disengaged. How are you now, Warrior? The operative had a real attitude. Like, there was nothing I could do to... We're just knocking this over. I played a little bit like off-stream, but we're sort of on the last third of it now. I mean, you now. go anywhere near that missile silo. Raj! Why don't we get a, a good look at the next one, shall we? Yeah, that's incriminating. Yeah, that's Watching better. us firing you off, you know, ozone-destroying missiles into space. This a shiver up your spine, huh? And it's not the snow and ice. No, 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 members of the press. It's the treachery. And oh, isn't it vile. Boss! <laughs> One second. Any saboteur of the environment is the enemy to us all. And this, this is nothing but cold-hearted terrorism. This is our enemy. Boss. Shut up, you dimwit! And I am talking about a global emergency. Sir! The missiles have been shot down by the facility's lasers. What? The ozone layer's been saved. Should've just given him the no. Well, that is unexpected good news. I guess the safeguard mechanism worked after all. Phew. <laughs> I'm subtle. This news that? broadcast is not communicating any useful information. Let's get back to the eco skimmer to see if we can track oh, down that the acting people that. responsible it's amazing, for this mess. Report to the eco skimmer immediately. Right, so head back. I think you can potentially freeze to death out here too. Like even at this stage of the game. Right, back to the skimmer, and we're off to the. Oh, okay. Gaia traces the aluminium shards to a muck facility. Yeah, fair enough. Let's head to muck. Because that's the thing as well, like, all the cutscenes for this game yeah, are up on YouTube at the moment, but the no one's actually done a complete walkthrough, so I'm just like, these are shoes I can step into. Gaia, are you there? Gaia! Connection established. Countermand my previous order. Do not return to base. I repeat, do not return to base. The green team is being framed. Probably by MUCC Corporation. Are you just Dr. picking up on that now? Right. The new operative and I have already traced a curious CSC in the And I couldn't work out that, so I think the robot is like just sitting like under our balls. Sure I, I don't know why it sits there. Like, anything that looks suspicious. In the meantime, can you imagine like the Star Wars Death Star run? If R2D2 was like at crotch level to look, it'd just be, yeah, be a bit weird. Just put him in the back. According to my database, oh no, it the might block the solar panels on our solar panel environmentally However, friendly plane. This place does not look very clean to me. Such a crazy thing, isn't it? Right, so we're at the Muck facility. Um, and yeah, I actually haven't played much further than this, so I'm kind of eager to see what needs to be done. You can go up this tower. The air is making you sick, better go back down. Okay. Uh, what's in here? This device called the caustic scrubber, removes gaseous wastes from the air rising through the smokestack. This prevents gases w. like sulfur dioxide from escaping and causing acid rain. Unfortunately, the water diffusion nozzles seem to be clogged. 
clogged water diffusion nozzles, you say. The scrubber nozzles are clogged with sediment. That's some clogged nozzles. You just scrape it off with your finger, it's only, you know, just built up gunk from the air. We have a giant muck balls. It's in the muck balls. Oh, can shut off the gas line apparently. Okay. Uh, what other fun stuff can we go to? Oh, we pick up some trash. Steel can. Steel can. Oh, I have a feeling uh, I know what the next puzzle this might be. This is a lot of pond. Water released by the plant is treated here to remove heavy metals. As you can see, the process does not seem to be working. I am detecting an abnormally high pH level in the water. Yeah. So what's this? Oh, we got a scrub brush so we can clean them nozzles. Yeah, right. A bit more trash. That's a lot of trash. And can't do anything with this dead fish, unfortunately. Polluted water. Yep. So we got to clean up more environmental mess again. Okay. Fair enough. Well, we got some cans. We got a scrub brush. What else do we need to do? Uh, back to the skimmer. Can't go to the factory? Can't just walk in the front door? Apparently. Oh no! You should not breathe noxious fumes, they can kill you. Can we just huff noxious fumes until we die? Oh, we just did, apparently. Okay, we just died. Can I just... No, oh, apparently you can't scrub him to death. Can I throw cans at him? Oh, hang on, I put a cash trash can in. Yeah, there we go. Just fill them up full of shit. Yeah, get wrecked, buddy. Into the trash it goes. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch is in there just going, ow, ow. Super cans. Right, um. Well, I can't hold any more cans. Oh no, he's been destroyed. Okay, so we can get in the facility now. To gain access, enter the percentage of garbage in the U.S. that is composed of metal. Okay. We go on the database. Um, run it backwards and go, okay, this is the percentage. Okay, so only 10% gets... No, hang on. 10% of metal, sorry. Yep, okay, so it's just 10%. Yeah, alright. Easy now. I, I, I was thinking too much about that. Too much information. So let's go in here. What fun stuff. Oh! So, you took the bait. Did you really think I left that tiny yourself box to guard anything? You're just a fool like everyone else. Just another gullible member of my TV audience. Well, keep your eyes glued to the screen, kiddo, because the Jonah Green Street show is about to go prime time. <laughs> you see, I'm, I'm tired of being the lovable cleanup man. I want to scare people, make messes, wreck the planet if possible. Call me the garbage man from now on. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was the weatherman last game. At all. I almost forgot you and the green team are history, my friend. All I have to do is keep a nice little smile for the cameras a little while longer, and then I can do anything I want at all. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I suppose I could cause, well, an investment. What the fuck are you doing, you stupid robots? Oh, I don't know, perhaps a. The hell is wrong with. Oh, what? Uh oh. Uh, we're all dead. When the smoke clears and the dust settles, state of, well, say, mission And difficult. he was literally doing his job. We filled him up with cans. That's his job. He's a trash pot. I'll get more power, and then I'll make more messes. <laughs> you get the idea, don't you? Genius. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that looked like it could be trouble. Um, I... I don't want to investigate that. I might even just save the game. Oh, just... Ah, oh, concentrated acid. Yeah, let's pick it up with the tongs, I guess. Pick up the acid with the tongs. Maybe we can just melt through the door. Sort out the tank. It is too late. The chemical tank is igniting. Oh, shit. Okay. So that's annoying. We had this issue in the Arctic too, like, yeah, we were timed 
And yeah, there was a chance of uh, freezing to death. Yep, me and my Molotovs. That's it. Okay. Um. So can we just walk over and turn the gas off? Watch out. This punctured tank contains an air volatile gas. When the pressure inside drops below a certain point, the flame spout will ignite the tank's interior, causing a horrible explosion. This factory, and everything in it, would be demolished. Okay, so we actually can't turn off the tap, otherwise the whole thing will explode. That's not fun. How do we... No, what do we... I don't know what the hell we're doing. That... No, we'll just see if that's what happens. No, nah, flame slips in. No, they said if the pressure dropped in the tank, it would explode. And it did. I'm straight here with what we need. Oh, what? Are becoming toxic. Using acid in such a poorly ventilated area oh, I forgot dangerous. to turn the fans on. That's apparently the issue. So I now died from the toxic fumes of the acid. God damn it. This is, this is bullshit. Okay, so once we clean these nozzles, we can... The thing shouldn't kill us? Because then the scrubbers are actually working? But I have used air scrubbers previously um, at the old sugar mill I worked at. Certain things you had to do with the scrubbers. Um, yeah, gaseous emissions. Are they... Okay. We put acid in there? No? Oh, maybe scan the air? Oh, here we go. Uh, sulfur, ammonia, al aluminium, and carbon. Okay. What was this? Do? The scanner is for water, not air, dingus. What was the point of scanning shit? Um, can we, like... Well, there was the tank over here. What was the issue with the tank? No, the pH was off. Oh, the pH was off. Water released by the plant is treated here to remove heavy metals. As you can see, the process does not seem to be working. I am detecting an abnormally high pH level in the water. Yep, so we lower the pH by chucking acid in. Uh, we lower the pH by chucking acid in. Okay, so we fix that. We're now getting, hang on, we'll check our water scanner. Ambient pH level's 8.7, so that's almost neutral. Um, I noticed I haven't gotten a message in regards to the um, gas leak now either. Not now, I'm busy. Okay. I'll break the door down. I said I was busy. Unless you can tell me something about these emissions, you better back right on out of here, kiddo. Oh, Clean this okay. Place up if you want to make yourself useful. This facility is an embarrassment to MUCC Corporation. If I don't see evidence of clean emissions this afternoon, I'm going to shut the filthy place down, which means you, my friend, will be out of a job. Mr. Ballfellow, we're not. <laughs> Dick. Um, so can we show him our emissions? Yes? What do you have there? You call that an acceptable smokestack emission? I call it smog. Oh, okay. So I think we have to fix up the furnace to... So we're not producing as much carbon? Um, I'm just going to read up on that spiel about furnaces. Um, yeah, because we came here with the... Um, what does that say? Water wank? Okay. Okay. No, there we go. 660. That's enough to melt. Uh, what did we say? That's for car... No, that was... Oh yeah, here we go. And... Alright, just spitting out iron ingots. Don't want to know this shit for. Um... So what else are we doing? We gotta fix this mixer thing. This mechanism is supposed to be sorting the aluminum cans from the other metallic garbage. Yep, yeah, it's a metal sorter, so what's stopping it from actually... The sorter unit stops. 
Oh, what do I... Oh, I have, now have a huge magnet, apparently. Why do I have a huge magnet? Uh, we got through the door. Oh, there's stairs up to whatever the other thing was. Okay. Um, yeah, here we go, here we go. This device, called an electrostatic precipitator, or ESP, removes solid waste, such as ash and smoke particles, from the air rising through this smokestack. Unfortunately, the plates have collected so much waste that they can no longer clean the air. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll take these gloves. Oh, I'm... Oh, okay, I'm wearing the gloves if I have them in my hand. Right, so this... Dirty baffle. So can we clean the baffle with the scrub brush? Cannot clean the scrub brush, okay. Can we use the magnet to pull out the metal? No. Alright, so we've got a baffle tray. What do we have to do in here as well? Dirty metal plates. Can we scrub them? Can't scrub them. Okay. Um. Yep, wrapper error. So we've got to find somewhere that cleans these. We can just bang all the shit off it. The hammer knocks the dust loose. Okay. Can we do the same with the filter? No, we need to find a way to clean the baffle, I suppose. Alright. Um, love to know how to do that. Can we be a smart ass and pull off like a 40 kilo iron ingot off? Oh no, we can't because we're producing iron. Ah, uh, we turned the machine off. That's right. Order. Oh, hang on. Can we place the magnet on the gas leak? Maybe just, you know that might plug up the hole worth a go All right. good thing the magnet stops the flow of gas um i don't want to touch it well yeah it didn't seem like there's much point in stopping that yeah we're still getting shitty water pumping out can we at least clean this thing no that's the scanner baffle You wash out the dirty baffle. Okay. So by rights, we can put this back. Clean baffle will diffuse the air much better. Right, put the tray out. Close that. ESP is working perfectly. Fantastic. Oh, no, no, no. I know, I know. I could probably turn the gas off. Shut the gas off from the tank safely. Take the magnet back. That might be a plan. Right. Shut off the gas line. Yeah, alright. But yeah, we, now we can't fix that. I think that's what we wanted. Yeah, now we're getting ingots. Can I have an ingot? You can pick up the ingot with your gloves. Okay, so what do we need an iron ingot for? That's, um... So can we do another scan for the, um... Because by rights the plant should be running okay now. Let's go have a look. Back up here. So we scan that. No, you're an ingot. Get out of there. Uh, air scan. Is that what we wanted? Can bring that up again? Sulfur, al aluminium, carbon. Isn't it? Yeah, it's carbon emissions that fucks up the atmosphere, doesn't it? Oh no, sulfur creates acid rain, doesn't it? Hang on, we clean these. Why do these need to be cleaned again? Alright, so we'll fix up the scrubbers again. They're working. Hey buddy, wanna have a look at this? Hmm? I see you have repaired the water treatment facility work <laughs> it's like yeah good on you for the water you know you want to sort out the air i guess we haven't done the can we get a hint on how to fix up the air this better be good well what do you know clean air emission oh we got it right okay that's more like it now do you want to talk to us now that we've done all the shit you needed us to do, 
Your plant's running. Um, oh, maybe we've got to show him the ingot? I don't know. Yeah, check out my ingot, dude. Yes. Oh, very good. This plant is finally producing pure aluminum again. Looks like they took the page right out of our alerts book. Yeah, it's got that feel to it, doesn't it? Uh, Mr. Baldfellow keeps seeing it. Then threw the page away and kept the book. Yeah. Yeah, like, I love that. I like the, um... Because the guy who played Kane in the Command and Conquer series actually directed all the, um, the videos in it. And it's definitely got his sort of campiness to him. So was that all we... We obviously need to do more than that, don't we? We got the plant running. Can we just talk to him again? Is he going to tell me what else is wrong? You have more know-how than I gave you credit for. Okay, there we go. Now, tell me about this ledger. Who is this uh, garbage man character? And why do so many millions of dollars go straight to his organization? What Hang on, you can't, like, see embezzlement Wait, happening, happening right in front of your face? Is that a green team in Pobot? Mr. Baldfellow, the person you have mistaken for a MUCC employee is really a new green team operative. We think... Oh, the green team had a hand in this. The corruption in this place is sickening. I'm not even going to... I'm going to pick up that ingot and fucking belt you with, with it, mate. But I'm not surprised, not one bit. Get <laughs> Spent all mind. this time, like, cleaning his factory. Getting it to produce clean aluminium. All this sort of stuff, and he's just like, eh. Oh, well, guess we're going through. Okay, I guess we can save too, because we made progress. That's all we had to really do, wasn't it? I was about to spell orifice. Whoops. Alright, um, so we're in the office. We now have. Oh, we, we still got all this stuff. Okay. Um, what's behind the green curtain? Nothing. Apparently nothing. I cannot click on anything. Except backing. Oh, God. Alright. Can we look around? Why am I in the off? Why can I not click on anything in the office? We just come straight back here. Oh, I love this picture, though. That's, that's appropriate for a corporate thing. So why can't we go through? Can I... Bash the door down with the hammer? Oh, I apparently can! Holy shit! Okay. Um, can we now just unlock the door? Oh, we just hit the lock. Okay. Or we'll squeeze ourselves through that tiny hole. Oh, this looks like the lair of the garbage man, I think. Okay, let's have a look. Mock security network. Now you know where the trail leads to next. Um, yeah, let's check the video file. Oh, come here, boss. I locked the secret office. Shh. Someone can hear you, idiot. I locked the secret office. I destroyed the videotapes. He's no got the secret no office idea. right next to the CEO that's, like, blocked so off by, you know, my motto, a job not you know done those wooden not slap doors. Well Heck, boss, I don't even know your evil plans, even if someone found those. You I can see why they didn't make any more games. Yeah, but what I mean is, <laughs> you've been talking about these genetic experiments, and I don't know what experiments or when they're going to happen, and I'm your right-hand man. Listen. Right hand man follows orders and keeps his eyes closed. Let's just get out of here. Come on. I can't wait to find out what that smog making bacteria is for. Stop asking so many questions. You know too much already. Just do what you're told. It's anyone that, like, it's the, it's like Pale Ranger's level yes, of acting, sir. isn't it? I'll do exactly what you say, sir. It's like, yeah, Bulk and Skull, if they were, yeah, Skull and like a skinnier Bulk, basically. All right. Yeah, we know all this. Uh, Oh, we're going to Hawaii. That's apparently where all the toxic waste is. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, off to Hawaii then. I imagine we're going to have to avert another ecological disaster. Fun and games. Alright. We're back out to the ship. Just <laughs> not going to take any of this shit back. Just going to, you know, steal all their um, personal equipment. Right, off to Hawaii then. Yep. Avert the disaster that is Hawaii. True that. <laughs> Toxic waste might need sorting. 
need to send it to more vulnerable areas. We almost have what we need to incriminate Mr. Greenstreet. I am attempting to notify Ivy. Hopefully we will be able to verify the existence of the dove site in Hawaii. Very strange. I, I hear Bikini China. Atoll is good Even at this time of year. Exactly. However, I'm intercepting some information about Mr. Greenstreet that has just appeared in the media. This is the facility in question. AMUCC recycling plant. Oh, we got that shitty BBC fucking voiceover again. Company executives may have become an MUCC money laundering facility. We will find the answers. You don't just lose forty-five million dollars from a quarterly budget. That's how much they stole without you noticing. You're a terrible CEO. Corporation. The board of directors is going to perform a thorough audit of the MUCC's books starting tomorrow. Just this is you've got a microphone there. Just stab him. Stab him with the microphone. I'm sure it's just a bookkeeping error. I mean, you know, those stuffy executive types. They can't can't handle change. They they get very, very paranoid if you buy a new copy machine. I mean, why are you asking me all these questions? I mean, don't you trust me? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Gaia, what happened to Ivy? I can't reach her. She does not respond to my transmission. <laughs> you doing, Vinny? We must find her. Young Vinny. The new operative and I have located Mr. Greenstreet's illegal dumping operation. Hey, I've spotted Ivy's eco-skimmer outside the MUCC Corporation. I'm going down to take a look. Watch it, sunshine. Greenstreet's goons are this all over the place. Cap. I'm in that is solid sunshine. 90 backwards back cap. You up? Make it quick, I'm going down. Hey, take it easy, you two. Don't eat or you take on MUCC alone. If you need help, holler. In the meantime, we I'm gonna, gonna go and fight the Death Star now that we've got a squadron. Feed me the coordinates and I'll meet you there. Sending coordinates. I hope they all blow up. This is where oh, Mr. Crap. Green Street is shipping his waste. We have to discover exactly where he is hiding it and then notify the international community. Lovely sunny Hawaii. Here we go. Oh yeah, it immediately just turns up all the ambient noise. I mean, are they really saving the environment when you're burning tons of jet fuel flying around in squadrons of jet aircraft? Well, that's the thing. I'm presuming... <coughs> I'm presuming the blue bits are solar panels. It, they've somehow advanced technology that much. You can have a solar panel jet. Because we had to suspend our disbelief, didn't we? Alright, I'll save. Yeah, press F to doubt, definitely. Man, that's a lot of garbage. Okay. Grab an old net. Yeah, see, we've lost inventory. We've only got a hammer back now. Um, oh no, 9 iron. Okay. Golf club. Spool of wire. Anything else exciting? We're just going to hoard this entire stretch of garbage. Sure. Uh, and that's just the pile again, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, so we've got something over here. We have a keypad. A Geiger counter. Why do we need a Geiger counter? Is it radioactive as well, is it? Okay, yeah, it's a security panel. Was it not powered or something? Alright, break it with the golf club. Break it with the hammer. Holy shit, that worked too. Okay. H2O radiation level. Can we, what do we have to check? Seems the water is flowing the wrong way. Oh, okay, so we have to find the radiation level of the water and punch it in here. Okay. You're so into saving the environment that even the tools you use to save the environment are considered pollution. So you have to locally source all equipment so that you can dispose of it later. You're that sort of C-word. Yeah, yeah. That is exactly right. Uh, anything fun at the port? Oh! Suzanne, that crane is loading and unloading the same crate to appear busy. Okay, can we do something to... We obviously gotta drop this, don't we? Can we just throw the hammer at it? Um, no? Do we have to press a button to... Maybe we can find, like, controllers for the crane or something. Okay. Um, so what else we got? 
It is turned off. A tiny screw needs to be turned first. What is it? Is it a, some sort of gas canister? Okay. Um, emergency beacon. Mm, Rudder. What else we got? Uh, oh, it's, it's a thermal energy conversion in plant. Okay. One. Instead of heating water into steam by burning coal or splitting atoms, this facility heats ammonia into steam with warm water from the ocean's surface. Likewise, instead of condensing water vapor with cool air, this facility condenses ammonia vapor with cold water from the ocean's floor. In this way, the natural temperature gradient of the ocean is converted into energy. Oh, okay. That seems helpful. You don't really, you're like you hear about geothermal plants and you hear like, um, like the ones that convert the waves to energy and stuff, but yeah, I haven't heard of this one before. Alright, so we have an emergency beacon, big deal. Can we use the emergency, well, can we use the Geiger counter on the, can we go into the facility? Maybe we can throw the net at the robot? Try that. Crab is incapacitated, sort of. <coughs> Can we go... I hit it with a hammer? Now that's just not very sporting. Oh, that's terrible. Oh! <laughs> that's literally uh, all I had to do. Just hit it with a golf club. There's, there is some convoluted logic in these puzzles. Oh, that's a crate. Alright, open the crate with a hammer. I must admit, I do like that the, um... Oh! Oh, we're getting picked up and taken into the boat, I guess? I do like that you can have an item for more than one puzzle, though. It is a bit helpful. Um... Okay, we're on the ship. Righto. Oh yeah, we get some scuba gear. And be scuba stiff. Um, so we can go back in the crate if we want to get off the boat. Okay. Um, oh, a knife. That's not a knife. And what's this? A locked diary. Hammer again. You can put a bullet in that lock and it still would hold. Can we pick it with the knife? The lock can certainly hold up against a knife. Okay. Um... No, go back in that room. We need this telescope, clearly. Why do we need a telescope? Um, nothing else in the room? Should probably putting some air into those tanks. Oh, okay, so we fill up. So this was all, like, um, diving equipment. Okay. So we'll hook up the... Yeah, the compressor knob's turned off. We gotta turn the knob on with the knife. Not the hammer. Don't use the hammer on that. You twist the tiny screw with the point of the knife. Okay. Fill up the gas. You fill tanks with compressed air. Good. We have to combine that. No. Okay. Don't know where the hell we'd find the key to a diary, but anyway. Um, we'll head out again. This is actually going on for a bit longer than I thought. Because um, I knocked over the other one in like two hours. We'd be getting up to at least three now. Um, oh, here we Tropical go. Tropical coral reefs, home to one third of all fish species, are the most diverse and perhaps the oldest of all ecosystems. They support more symbiotic relationships than any other habitat, showing how truly intertwined the lives of organisms can be. Perhaps for this reason, they are also known as the rainforests of the sea. Rainforests of the sea, yeah, right. Yeah, all right, pick up this boat anchor, put it in my pocket. Oh, we can actually, like, um, thingo. Okay, scuba around a bit. We'll go out that way. I bet you we got, like, limited air in the tank or something like that. That's under the boat. Okay. Uh, it's another way this way. Yeah, right. Let's go to the end of the pipe and see what happens. The deeper the g you go, the more air you use. Yeah, okay, is that telling me... 
You should not go any deeper. We deep are already there. several hundred feet below the surface of the ocean. Descending much further in a wetsuit would be dangerous. I suggest we find another form of underwater transportation. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. Don't know why the hell we went down like a hundred feet. Like, so we need like a diving bell or a diving suit, like an actual suit suit? Is this turning into Bioshock? Do we have to become a big daddy? You've run out of air? What? Fucking crock of shit. And that's annoying that we can't just fucking save whenever Tropical we want. Tropical coral reefs, home to one third of all fish species, are the most diverse least. and perhaps the oldest of all ecosystems. They just... support more symbiotic oh, relationships here we go. than any other habitat, um... showing how truly intertwined the lives of organisms can be. Um, so we could go through here. What was this way? Despite the majesty of this coral landscape, reefs like this one are the most poisonous habitats on Earth. To cope with the extreme density of life, Numerous organisms secrete toxic chemicals to safeguard their space. Even the coral itself secretes poisons. However, the sheer diversity of life also makes coral reefs one of the richest potential reserves of medicinal substances in the world. Yeah, right, eh? So I guess we can't go further because of the... Yeah, what's the, um, what's the little diving bell doing? We could apparently go further forward. It oh. looks like we found NUCC Corporation's chemical dump site. We should mark this spot with a buoy, so that cleanup workers will be able to find it. Oh, okay. We can do that. Should keep clear while that sub is still functional. Okay. So how do we get rid of the sub? No, that's good. Right, so we got that spot. There was another... Oh, there was a bit under the boat, wasn't there? That's toxic waste. Um, maybe we can... Oh, there's the robot. Can we, like, get the thing off the... Okay, um... So we can do something to that toxic waste. Um, stab it with a knife? Yeah, okay. What do we need a telescope for? Oh, can we just mark this? Oh, no, we can't be smart and put the beacon on this one and let him take it over. Okay. Can't use an anchor. Can't. We're swimming around in this shit, too. Just, um... Yeah, hang on. Can we cut the rope? Crab snaps at you before moving away. What else do we need to do with a telescope? Smash telescope with hammer? That was the correct option. Okay. And now I have a lens. Don't know why I need a lens. Alright. As soon as it comes through, I'm just going to click the fuck out of it. Oh. Yeah, alright. We caught this up. Cool. Your air tank is almost empty. Oh, it's got a code on it. Fuck. And I can't, I, I'm guessing the code's in the fucking thing, eh? This is adventure game thinking here, but might work. See, we got the light shining through. Maybe if I put the lens in there. Really? You were so close. So, oh, okay. You burn through this. That's, that's stupid. So I can burn through the strap with the light shining. Oh my God. All right. Oh my god. No, you have to stick the gum you found at the bottom of your boots so you can walk up the coal slide to get to the upper levels of the library that you crashed down from at the start of the game. And don't forget to remove the nails from the bookcase that fell on top of the hole you fell through to use them later and also access Plato's journal. Don't forget, sometimes the book gets stuck and you have to throw a piece of coal at it. That is the exact puzzle from, um, yes, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I remember that one well. I had the hint book. Can't feel the contacts... The entry code for the submarine is the name of my dearest sweet love. Sakari. Alright. Uh, Sakari. Oop. Okay. That oh, went past it. K A. <laughs> Keck. Um, K A R. 
Alright, the airlock is unlocked. You're fucking kidding me. Use the fucking hammer. You want to use the sub ladder, don't damage it now. I can't open the fucking wheel on the airlock because it's apparently too slippery. This is bullshit. Oh no, couldn't I? Oh no, I can put the beacon on the um, thing out now that the sub's out of the way. Alright. It would just float up. Well, tie it to a fucking anchor. Do I put the anchor down first? Yeah, okay. Tie that on. Alright. Guy is receiving a transmission from the surface. Good work. Now the Hawaiian authorities will know where the chemicals are located. Interesting. It seems as though someone has already noticed the buoy. I'm receiving an audio transmission from... Oh my goodness, Riptide. Gaia, my instruments say that you're below the surface where the distress buoy just came up. Are you okay? Oh, oh boy. The new operative and I have just discovered the illegal dumping ground. We now have enough evidence to incriminate Jonah Green Street. Stand by to receive photographic transmission. <laughs> right up. I'd sure like to see the look on Green Street's face when he sees these chemical drums on TV. But hey, Gaia, in the meantime, let's do something to clean this stuff up. We can protect the reef by dispersing any chemicals that may have leaked. Why don't I give you a water pump? That should do the trick. Excellent. The new operative and I will meet you on the beach beside the power plant. Okay, so we swim back out and get our, um, get this water pump. Yo, here's the water pump. Man, you sure broke open that Green Street conspiracy fast. I think I speak for the whole team when I say that. Look at that shit, though. Show us what it means to be a Team Extreme operator. Keep up the good work, kid, and good luck dispersing that chemical waste. I'll contact the authorities and then start mapping out a region of contamination. Peace. His plan to fix it is to basically spread the oil as far as possible. This does not compute. No, I don't know what the hell... I don't know what's going on at this stage. So what do we use this water pump for? Oh, the pump temporarily diffuses the leaking problem. Well, that's not really solving a problem, is it? we got to put this toxic waste elsewhere, don't we? Um, why is the beacon going off again? Yeah, that's the anchor. Um, do we just leave? I thought we had to get in the sub. What was... No, that's the hot spot there. No other hot spots. I have a starfish. I think I can use that to open the sub. Hot spot job! <laughs> I opened an airlock. Alright, um, so how do we get out? Where the fuck was the guy that was in the sub the, for the first point? Um, yeah, cut the, cut the net off. Alright. We've used the arm. We now have a sub. Who's dead, Jim? <laughs> um, so we can do some welding as well. Um, oh, do we have to, like, weld up the toxic waste? Can't use the welding arm on toxic waste. Okay, so welding up the barrels isn't the issue. Okay. Can we get Geiger counter reading, so? Yeah, okay. So maybe we have to go down super deep now that we've got our sub. Alright. Um, so go down in the sub. Sinking, sinking, sinking. Here we go. Alright, so this would probably have a reading on it too. Here we go, that looks a bit better. Alright, so the code is uh, 46523563. You reverse the flow of water. Nice job. Okay. Putting some air in the tanks. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We better not have lost our sub. I'm going to be a bit annoyed if we lost the sub. Which we do have to deep dive again. Yeah, alright. No, we're back in. Put some air in the tanks. We just jump back in the sub. The sub's got plenty of air. <laughs> this game is stupid. Oh my dear lord. Alright, so what's the point of... Yeah, alright. Oh, no, I know what we have to do. 
now that it's clear and we can see what we're doing pick up the arms pick up the lids put the lids back on the leaking cans and then weld them okay okay the lid is secure kudos to you weld the lid in place nice job the welded lid seals in the waste well done uh oh Gaia, come in someone's going down after you it might be a MUCC agent I don't know just get to the surface fast hurry the surface a large craft is approaching from above okay oh, seems no. like a we are being attacked Gummit in one cycle hey, you look pretty shaken up what just happened I have some bad news I think we're in a waste disposal facility of some kind a facility which as you can see has been converted okay we got captured the green they yeah we're in I eco jail now that's exactly right you eco fucking out. terrorists Wish I, could remember more. <laughs> I don't even know where we are actually and jonah took gaia when he captured you so we can't ask her either oh they took my robot damn it i was gonna fuck that thing later I was gonna put it under my balls in the ship and have it vibrate. <laughs> okay, so we're in jail. Um, we can now save because we've somehow made progress. Right. So, look at yourself. Now look away. Now back to your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. He can smell like me with old spice. Personal hygiene is very important. I'm glad I flushed that instead of just putting my hand in the toilet. Um, yeah, I have a fear. I have an idea. Oh. Douse the blanket with water? I just... It would clog it up and you don't want that. Um, so we've got a wet... Okay, the lock is sturdy. Can we flick the lock with a wet towel? We can't really... Oh, okay. Oh, we doing that stupid, you know, the bit in, I think it was Shanghai Noon. Wrap the towel, wet towel around it and then twist it to bend the bars. Well, how the fuck are we meant to bend the bars? Alright, um, wet the towel. Blanket dries out. Okay. Um. I suppose you could rust it open in a few years. Can't use a wet blanket on a mirror. Blankets dry again. That's where you'll be sleeping for a long, long time. You're good enough. You're smart enough. I'm giving myself, like, affirmations in the mirror. Okay. So why is there no longer a hotspot here? Hang on. Yeah, we got the lock. Um, oh, there's a loose brick. Aha, you pulled the loose stone from the wall. Just smash the mirror. <laughs> You're a rowdy prisoner with seven years bad luck. Um, we found a shard of glass. Okay. Um, can we pick the lock? <laughs> you cut your way through the steel lock. Not. On a wet blanket or stone. Can we rip up our... Yep. Oh, we get a spring. Okay. Grab the spring. Yeah, that's where we're sleeping. Um, what the hell are we meant to do with the spring? The spring is not shaped properly to fit into the hole. You pound the spring into a straight piece of wire. Freedom at last. Really? But what are we? What the hell do we need a wet blanket for? Um, maybe if I just. I don't know. It's boring in prison. I need to find stuff to do. Good thinking. Now go on, get out of here. No, 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 forget about me. You've got to warn the rest Acting. of Acting! Just where do you think you're going? Shall I escort the prisoner back to the cell? Are you fucking dirty robot what traitor? What do you new sidekick? I believe you've met her before, although she's not quite as friendly as she used to be. The media already knows you're up to something, Jonah. If you think for one minute the world's gonna let you get away with this... Shut up, Ivy. This isn't some James Bond movie. I don't have time to argue about. You got one wet blanket, so you have an excuse to leave the other wet blanket behind. behind That's true. Well, I guess you. Yeah, it's it's my new replacement friend. Look at my yeah, wet blanket. Go. Okay. Got to get back up to the surface. Yes, oh great garbage man. I you love that change of tie, by the way. It looks like you have it now. It's great. Um, use wet blanket on robot. 
There. That is better. <laughs> that was the puzzle. What I was trying to say just now was that we were trapped inside a deep geological with the wet tail. Approximately 800 feet below the surface. This is... Though MUCC Corporation has been contracted to store the world's most dangerous nuclear wastes in this facility, they have failed to deposit a single gram of radioactive material. If we get to the That's surface, the to perhaps we can discover what has gone wrong with this operation. Secret weapon. Okay. Um... <laughs> can I stab Frank? <laughs> can we reenact Oz? Just shank her? <laughs> uh, so we get some chain. Oh, this gets us out into the hall. Okay. We can grab a fire hose. We can, <laughs> we can wet all the blankets in the world with this fire hose. Um, usually useful stuff in storage, isn't there? Yeah, this looks like... What the hell is this? You put on the radiation suit. Okay. And a lead vest. Um, don't know what we need a lead vest for, but anyway. What is this facility? Oh, we got some pillowcases now. Can we wet the pillowcases? No. Nah. What kind of convoluted shit are we going to do with all these items? Ah, oh, dear. Alright, storage, big ass vault, heavy vault door. We just banged it. We're trying to be incognito or something, aren't we? In our radiation suit. Um, so elevators buggered, I guess. Oh, I remember this puzzle from the last game. Yeah, I think you needed to... No, you need to do something. Is that just the same pattern? Oh, we have to follow the pattern? No, we need to do... We need to put the wire in the audio that's shorting in, I think. Um, can we just use the wire we've got? Oh, just rewire the panel quickly and easily. Great. Um, was that all we needed to do to fix the elevator? Yes, yeah, apparently it was. Okay, I'll come back to the elevator because there's probably stuff to grab here. Oh, we're back in security. Okay. Um, we can go back to our cell. I kind of want to. Too tired. I don't want to save the world. Um, so storage. Can't do the vault. Um, just go up the elevator. Yeah, I know. It's just like... I'm standing still and I'm sad. It is terrible. No, oh, trust me. I've seen worse sprites than this. Uh from this era too I've seen some terrible terrible games from the late 90s the deep cooling pool can't handle the radiation what um okay so I think that's where we came out we're in fucking Nevada or something I guess my sensors have just detected a sharp rise in radiation around these leaking barrels they contain what is known as low level nuclear waste which includes contaminated clothing and tools. Though this material is not as radioactive as other kinds of nuclear waste, it can still cause cancer in humans. We should find a way to stop the leak as soon as possible. I thought we were trying to stop the garbage man. I've prevented enough ecological disasters here. Like, well, can we at least... Yeah, they're leaking waste. Great. Can I get my... Is there somewhere where my welding submarine is? Can I just weld the barrels back on? the hell do we put the furnace then the lead vest oh we just get a big puddle of melted lead okay all right so we got a lead plane right -o. i didn't think this would turn into you know the fucking halfway point of chernobyl but here we go oh i did enjoy that show too the radiation level in this area is abnormally high the water of this pool and the boral casings below the surface are supposed to absorb... So how does she know the radiation... How does the robot know the radiation level? Oh, it feels like Red Faction 1 to you. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit of that. But that's the thing. I had to physically pick up my own Geiger counter. Why does she have a Geiger counter? Why didn't she tell me she had that? Okay, so we got a hydraulic lift. When it's down, it's really down. The lift won't work. Okay, so we got to power this facility, I guess, and use that elevator. Okay. Or just use the chain on it. Yep, okay. This rack of spent fuel rods is raised from the pool. Remove, remove some inactive rods from the rack. Okay. Is that all we needed to do? Maybe have to 
Cool's at a stable level, let's leave it alone. Oh, did we just solve a puzzle? Did we just fix the reactor? Just took out some spent cooling rods? Um, okay, we're working at a nuclear reactor now. She did have the evil face for about five seconds before you slapped her with a wet towel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... We... We're not really trained. We've we've not been trained to do like any of these, to prevent any of these ecological disasters. We're just waffling at this stage. Oh my oh. goodness! Someone is sitting in the cockpit of this vessel. I wonder why he is parked in the middle of a toxic landfill. Maybe he is stuck. Standard cockpits will not open when surrounding conditions, such as the radiation at this dump site, could harm a human being. Okay, so we're gonna clean this shit up. Yeah, that's leaking waste. Can we put a lead plate on it? Can't use a lead plate. Okay. Yep, we got a core. This small nuclear reactor is used to neutralize certain radioactive materials. Neutron emissions from the reactor can stabilize the atomic structure of some radioactive elements, such as technetium-99 and iodine-129. Mm. Yeah. And I love that too, because we did look up radiation for the other puzzle in the um, in the database, and we just found solar radiation. We d didn't really specify. Uh, okay, this is a tab. You can put a hose on that, I imagine. Attach a high fire hose. Yep. Don't want to do that yet. Okay. The hatch won't open. Um, that's really all we can do. Oh, we can go forwards. Okay, um, <laughs> we're gonna sort out this nuclear radiation or my name isn't Yuri Stanislav. Exactly. Uh, we have a vault. Oh, we have some, um, uranium dioxide pellets in your inventory. Why the hell do we need uranium dioxide? Can we just do something with them? Um,. Oh, okay. Uh, what did we just pick up? Spent rods. We just put. Okay, so we're going to put the rods in here. Core needs active rods to operate. Um, we got spent rods. Can we put the uranium? Oh, okay. You replace the fuel pellets in the inactive rods. We now have active rods. I'm going to shove my active rod back in the hatch. Does that close up? close the hatch okay load the fuel rods active reaction there we go and turn on the water yet we don't want to do that yet so we got the reactor working here can't get past this waste as it stands you need something absorbent to soak it up good thing this facility is in the desert huh so I gotta like do what put sand on this oh I can sandbag it with is there a there's a hot spot here for sand okay pick up some sand okay now we got sandbags okay can we sandbags won't absorb the waste do I have to make so what do I fucking put sandbags in then Oh, do I put this in the vitrification thing to make glass? Is that it? Um, was this? No, that was the transmutation thing. We got the vitrification, yeah. Good idea, but that sand doesn't need vitrification. Um, sand. So, what do I put in the sandbag? What do I need a sandbag for? Can I sandbag this off? You contain the leaking waste for sandbags. Nice job. Sandbags will contain the waste for now. Okay, we've solved the A puzzle. Can we... Yeah, right. We've got some sand. We get sand and sandbags. Why not? We just chuck the sand on. Good thing that the I sand... Oh Thanks, my god. Kid. Man, am I glad to see you again. I thought I didn't have a friend in the world. My boss said I was getting too smart. Just a handful of sand. About what was going on. Please up the to get rid toxic radioactive waste. Sure. He was kind of using me all along. But you know what? I do know a secret or two. 
And I know some people I could tell also. <laughs> I'm afraid Mr. Greenstreet stepped on the wrong person this time. Excuse me, I, I gotta get away from yeah. this radiation. This is so stupid, isn't it? So can we just escape in the ship? Can we just leave? We beat the shit out of this guy so many times he can't talk straight. Someone definitely had a, a strong pimp hand. And I'm guessing we can't leave or we get a game over. We have to fix up the... I, I, I don't know what else we're meant to do. This also melts other things. Oh, can we just go out and pick up... we got to pick up some more sand. This is the third time we've gone to the sand pile. That sand doesn't need vitrification. You mix the pellets into the sand. You sand and pellets melt, mix and melt into a glass log. What is this glass log? Why do we need this? Um, so go to the disposal thing, chuck this in. That is a good place for the radioactive log. Let me put the... The disc seals the vault, something pops out. I mean, you're fucking kidding me. Alright, yeah, sure, we've got a coded card for the uh, transmutation thing now. Okay. Hatch pops open. I guess we put the rods in. Place the fuel mods in the transmutator. Close the hatch. Right. Then what do we... Oh, we've got to, like, destroy all the red bits by moving the thing. Okay. Yeah. And I guess this cleans the rods. Yeah. And just gently move that so you kill all the red bits. It's like the world's worst game of centipede. The rods are safe now, but now you got big problems. Now the core's melting. Really? Really? You must prevent the core meltdown. I might even cut in. Like, if I fuck this up, I'll cut in the actual explosion from Chernobyl. And now do we get to order this? Now is the time. We just had to flood it. Okay. Why did uh, this? I, I don't care. We'll just go save the chick. We're going to get her out of here. We've cleared all our radiation. We've saved the day. We probably still get cancer at some point. Like we're not preventing all the radiation we're getting at the moment. Um, hangar. No, that was the stupid thing. No, we had to go back down, didn't we? Back down the hole. Back to storage. Go save Ivy. I really didn't think I'd hate this game so much. Like, this was not worth my time. This literally was not worth my time. Um, excuse me. Uh, you're saved. Do you want to come with me and... No, you don't want to get out of the cell. Oh no, hang on. The lock springs open. Hey, thanks going? for coming back. I take it we have Jonah on the run. Mr. Greenstreet has vanished. However, the operative and I have discovered that he has grossly misused this facility, the world's only long-term depository for heavy nuclear waste. Excellent. That gives us more than enough information to put Mr. Greenstreet away for years. All he can do now is hide. Come on, let's get out of here. Yes, let's. Let's go to the next stupid bunch of puzzles. This better be the last level. I've kind of at my wits end with this game. Alright, back up to the skimmer. Okay. Um, no, this one. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge, shall we? Oh, we now can go straight back to Team Extreme. And the, the stupid robot stole my radiation suit again. Still more of my stuff. Excellent. We definitely have enough evidence to incriminate Mr. Greenstreet. And according to this satellite news broadcast, we are not alone. Did he lie? Will this cold cause acid rain? Heck, wait till you see all the memos he sent me. I was his right hand man. As if anyone's gonna believe this idiot. Greenstreet is a psychopath. You can't poison the planet 
and expect a corporation, even MUCC Corporation, to put it back together at any price. Hello, world. He's such an idiot, old Henry Winkle. Jonah Green Street. It's too late. While the Green Team was out, I've been here at the Green Team headquarters doing some ecological experiments of my own. If I take a look outside, notice any changes? <laughs> you will. The Green Team's silly green technology is now a technology of power, a technology true to the human spirit. You see, we were put here on this green earth to, to exert ourselves, to make nature bend to our very will. Well, I've learned to bend nature in ways you can't even imagine. <laughs> Thanks to me, we now have the power humanity has coveted since the dawn of civilization. Prepare what? to see the future, kids. Prepare to watch me seize the world and remake it in my own very image. Prepare for smog. Prepare for trash and waste and oceans of poison. Prepare for final victory over nature. I can give it to you. I am the garbage man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I spent four hours to get to this point, and Vinny could have pulled it up like that on stream. I could have pulled it up on YouTube. Things I do. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Headquarters have been buried in trash and toxic waste. Garbage man is probably inside. We've got to stop him. Do we have to? Yeah, I guess we do. So what do you want? An autograph? <laughs> or are you afraid I'm going to destroy the world? Either way, I don't have time to chat right now. <laughs> but, but, Spray this ain't great! Spray! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking what? Um, oh shit, can we... Hang on, hang on. Please let me save. You better take care of this. Oh, we just kill this thing with the blowtorch? Okay, hang on. Uh, and turn the cyclist down so I can hit him. Yeah, great. Oh, I gotta do another one. Fuck. Fuck. Hold silly, you bastard. Oh, fuck! <laughs> you were kidding. That. Oh, I've gotta actually, like, stop them in time? Okay. Let's turn those cycles down a bit more. Just the scream from my character as I got hit by this thing. Yeah, alright, alright. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Oh, there's more? Shit. No, get that one, get that one. Is this how the game... Is this the final boss battle? Oh my god, they go so much faster. I got the cycles down at 10%. Oh dear lord. Thankfully you get like a frame rate drop when you get one. I oh, get out of it. No. Um... Oh, no, fuck, come on, no, fuck, ah, just gotta get them to click quickly enough to get them together. Oh, no, no, I remember this, I remember this, yeah, certain games, if you click it, like, speeds up or something. No, hang on, get, yep, yep, okay, got you. Um, no, just hold silly bastards, why are there so many of these things? Alright, you defeated the bots. Great. If I had died there and I'd have to go all the way back and do like the reactor again, I would have, yeah, that, I would have gone a little bit crazy, I think. Okay, we'll do that. So what do we got left today? All right, everything's covered in trash. Great. Um, put the cycles up a little bit. Oh no, they've vandalized, yeah. Seems loose, but you can't quite reach it. Can't reach it with that. Okay, so we need a fan off that. Um, guess we're gonna go and grab items to fucking sort this out. Wasn't there like an alligator in here or something? Yeah, I wouldn't put my hand in the water, fair enough. I think we need water for something though, if that's a hot spot. Um, is there anything fun? No, it just gets you back here. Okay. Anything at the. Oh, we get our CD back. Okay. Yeah, right. I can't even remember what was on that CD either. Yeah, we can check the garden again. Find some corn. Okay. <laughs> Combine corn with CD. Ah. I wanted to make um. Shit, what was the name of their album? 
I know that you know the one. We all know the one. Losers. Garbage man was here. Hey, punk. Maybe I'll let you back in if you answer five questions. Um, sewage is a major source of water pollution that can cause fish to multiply and balance out the food chain, good bacteria to grow and eat germs, water to flow more slowly and gather more oxygen, plants to grow wildly, reducing the amount of oxygen in water. Um, most of these are right? What? Which of the following is not responsible for animal extinction? Hunting animals, disruption in the habitat, placing animals in protected areas, pollution. Not correct. Burning fossil fuels produces all of the following pollutants except MSG? Okay, that's correct. Yeah, <laughs> the word smog originated. Am I meant to be answer answering these correctly or incorrectly? I don't know. The word smog originated in England when smoke combined with fog. Yugoslavia, where the legendary smoggle beast lives. Germany, to describe the combining of oxygen and smoke. The US, since the traffic in Los Angeles caused it. Okay. Um, not correct. Okay. Oh, and they roll around again, so we can pick another one. Yugoslavia is obviously the right answer. True, matey. True. Um, France? Yeah. Oh, that is correct. Okay. Greenhouse effect describes the process that it takes for a seed to become a plant. How gases and water vapor trap the, the heat of the earth. That's apparently correct. Houses they're built with recycled materials. What happens if you sit in a greenhouse for too long? Okay. Okay, so they are after correct answers. All right. All of the following ex are the examples of runoff pollution except... Um, runoff pollution. Water flows over lawns, picks up animal waste. No, not correct. What does clear cutting mean? Uh, that's large tracts of forest if they're cut down. Yeah, okay. Which of the following is not responsible for animal extinction? Um... Placing animals in protected areas. Okay. You are in my world now. Uh-oh. Okay. So we're going to fight the garbage man with a blowtorch, a CD, and an ear of corn. Um, great. Is there anything in the trash? Ooh, I pulled the broken... <laughs> I get to fight him with a broken bottle. Okay. You only need one. Fair enough. And I think that was the one I threw in at the start of the game as well. Okay. Um, righto. Let's go on the HQ then. Wow, that's a lot of trash. Just, <laughs> every copy of this game is just in this trash pile somewhere. Okay. Um, was that a cup of, it's just a pencil holder. Okay. My garbage will triumph. Yeah, righto. Uh, bio center. No, fishing. Oh no, it's that stupid crab bot again. Ha! Ah, stab you with my knife. Blowtorch? Titanium. Oh, he's made of titanium. Okay. So I have to defeat the crab bot. Um. Oh, is he just sitting here? Mocking us? He is. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> the glorious final hour of humankind. It's here! The hour we reach out with our full might and take everything this planet has left to give. Reach out, my minions! Seize it all. And you, leave me alone. <laughs> I have work to do. <laughs> <laughs> this giant garbage cannon. Okay. He's just, leave me to my work. Oh! Oh, it's you. Great, that makes two of us. I haven't heard from Ozone or Riptide, but Ivy's on her way. As you can see, the garbage man's trying to fill the planet with these mutated organisms. A toxic algae, a smog creating bacteria, and this sludge secreting kudzu. We've got to get samples of these organisms so we can find a way to stop them. But, um, first only my body kit, which I left in the greenhouse. Any idea on how to get past this mutant Venus flytrap? Uh, giant mutant flies? Holy shit! Um,. Stab it with a broken bottle. The fly trap has very tough skin. Okay. Can we get it with a... It doesn't kill him. It only makes him stronger. Um, can I grab anything that might help? Can't touch it with me bare hands. 
You want some corn? That worked. Um, so now what do I do? It's still attacking. What was the other place? The hangar? Yeah, there's gotta be useful items in the hangar, surely. Oh no, another trash bot. Let's fucking stab you. That bot wouldn't care about the bottle. Trash? The bot would prefer an umbrella for when it rains. What? The bot is heat resistance. Resistant. CD? It doesn't like rap music. <laughs> you racist. BLM trash can. BLM. Not while that bot is so snappy. This is a sticky problem. You have a tendency to get wrapped up in things. The bot, crab bot can't walk and chew gum. What? These hints are even worse, aren't they? Um, what are the hints for the fucking, this thing? The fly trap will eat almost anything. It has a corny sense of humor. Timing is everything. I watered the corn and you said no. That's some corn. What? Oh, no. I've just used, like, adventure game logic. We have to spray the corn with the blowtorch to make popcorn. If this works... No, get on the... The ear explodes as popcorn flies everywhere. It worked. One specimen I won't miss. Think it's safe to go inside? <sighs> right. <laughs> it's not how fucking pop. They get everything else right in this game. They know like how many ozone molecules get destroyed by a chlorine molecule. They know the nuclear rate rate of reactions for like nuclear energy. That scientifically does not fucking work. Oh my god. Oh my dear lord. That was stupid. Um, so we gotta find a botany kit? Yeah, right, eh? Botany kit? Chemistry kit, okay. So I found her thing. Was there anything else in here? What the? No other hotspots, that's all I needed. She couldn't even go in and get that itself. Now figure out what the garbage man did to these organisms to make them so destructive. If you let me borrow a few test tubes, I'll take some samples myself and get them to other scientists around the world. We're gonna need all the expertise we can get. Thanks. In the meantime, our first priority is to stop the garbage man's trash bots. They're being controlled through the green team's own computer network. So while I take samples, why don't you try to get to Ivy's control center? Cracking the software of these trash bots will be the key to stopping the spread of these organisms. Okay. Okay. Um... Why do we still have a hotspot for the dead flytrap? Does it? Can I take a sample of it? Oh, you've got to find the genetic code of this. Oh my! Look at the size of that number by. Can we go to this, or is he just gonna? I said, leave me alone! I'm destroying the world. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. You you stick at it. So we can't even get to the computer, I guess. Can't we just go over and stop the hose or something? Wouldn't that be a smart idea? Because we can... Can we reach this? Can we throw something at it? Hey man, nice shot. Oh, okay. And now we have... What did we grab? A broken blade. Yeah, sure. I'm sure that'll come in handy for something. Maybe this thing? Yeah, you're in my world now. Blah, blah. Garbage man, can we... Oh, we found some gum. That's a really... Okay. So I guess that stops the... Can use this on the crab bot? Okay. Because that was the hint. Yeah, alright, he's all... Oh, as if that might... We had like a handful of gum. But now we have salt. Great. <coughs> I think that's all we needed to get. We just had to get to the hangar. So we get some fresh water. 
and we put salt crystals in it. So now we can rust the robot with the salt water, I think. That trash bot seems to slow down. Okay, great. He won't give you any more trouble. Okay, so we're in the hangar. Uh, we can, we can't even leave. We just jump in the the thing. Okay. What else do we need to get in the hangar for? We found another CD. We have a boot disc. <laughs> Win 05. Oh, this is set in the future? Really? Really? I thought the big green thing in the middle was the computer anyway. Oh no, we can go forwards. Okay. Diagnostic error. Bo global bot control crash. Please reboot system. Okay. Can we just put the... Nice job, the machine reboots. Global antiviral delivery program. Please input genetic codes. Oh, really? Okay, air, land, water. So I think we got the one for land with the, um, can we just punch it in now? Five, one, two, four, double seven, five, four, double five. Um, I get so we need three. All right, does that punch in though? Or? No, it'll probably sort it out once we get all three. Okay, so air, land, water. Um, what do we use that broken? Oh, genetic code of the air mutants is um, pond is too active for a good sample. Maybe the other side, this end. No, that just jumps out. Where else can I... Because I've got... That would be the air sample. The plant was the land sample. Where's the water sample? Yeah, don't... Can we stir it around a bit? No? Broken... What else do we need the broken bottle for? Too active for a good sample. Scum drips out the bottom of the bottle. Yeah. Scum thanks you for the fresh water. Put some salt in there? Scum doesn't really mind the additional nutrients. Oh no, we put it in the thing and then test it. Here we go, here we go. Alright, alright. So that's three zero six zero double four. And now what? Was that all uh Yeah, okay, hang on. Five one two four Double seven five four double five. Um, air was two oh two two oh eight three one double zero. Punch all these in. Okay. Um, so why didn't this work? Definitely got the codes right. Two hundred two only three one double zero. 3 and 1 9 8 6 0 triple triple 4 1 more 4 there we go <laughs> right that was human error on my part don't worry click to execute final sequence okay I bet you think you're clever ha! you may have cracked my system but I still have enough control over my bots to trash every living thing on this planet go ahead try to stop me come on let's see what you're made of kid Think you can save the world? Well, come on, give it your best shot. Please don't tell me it's the same boss fight from last time. Please no. Um, Heath Ledger sure isn't looking good for that. No, uh, mutant outbreaks will occur in two areas. Oceanic mutations indicated in purple. Terra firma indicated in red. Choose the proper antivirus to combat each type. Yeah. Click in the center of an outbreak to deliver the antivirus. Okay. The wrong beam has a minimal effect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oceanic. Oh yeah, they did. S yeah, that is spelled wrong, isn't it? Repeated blasting will eventually destroy the wrong beam. Mutant, uh, okay. 
Whatever. Oh, are we just are you showing us this shit again? Or no, here we go, here we go. Satellites can deliver two different antivirus beams, okay. Oh good, it's running really fucking slowly. Alright. Yep. Just shoot the Yeah, I'm not bumping the cycles up either. I wanna win this. I'm just gonna do it really slowly. Cause that's what happened. Like the um the other one ran too fast, so I had to turn the cycles right down. I just wanna win this. Doesn't skill is not a thing anymore. Alright. Oh fuck. Yep. Ah. Died had to start again. Uh, you destroyed them all, you lunatic! That's still cool that yeah, your youngest has got an interest in older games. Never, never, no, no, never, Hang on, do we not get the cutscene? Or is he oh no, he just ran off. Where do you think you're going? Move it, Ivy. I'm going to destroy the world. I can find another way. Go for it, garbage bag. No one can stop me. No one. Suffer child like your father before you. Yes. <laughs> Try and catch me. Money G makes his move. Uh. Come on, G Man. Bust a move. Get away from that. Think fast, G Man. <laughs> What's that advice? <laughs> Why is everyone so satisfied and like covering everything in garbage? Don't worry about me. Oh, oh. Yeah, look, he's just been bukkake by garbage. Is everything under control? And now there? old Hen Green Henry Winkler's rocked up. We are waiting for the authorities. Excellent. On behalf of MUCC Corporation, please accept our sincere gratitude. Well, thank our new operative. The world owes. I was actually going to play other games after this. I thought I'll knock this over in half an hour. It should be right. I apologize for doubting you. All up, like inclu the, including the previous footage. This has taken me. Five, nearly six hours to get this stupid game done. Granted, you know, I didn't have a walkthrough to go off, but. You would certainly do a better job than Mr. Greenstreet. Could have just looked at the cutscenes. Could have just gone to YouTube, checked out the cutscenes to finish this, just like Vinny did. No. I'm a masochist, I had to finish this myself. Anyway, keep up the good work, Green Team. The world is safe again, thanks. You. Oh, now do we, like, it, 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 it is technically, is it 420? Yeah, a bit like Bill Nye. Like. <laughs> so no, we were called the green team and I was making jokes at the start about Smoke and Up. And it would have been appropriate if we all went out and smoked weed, considering it's now 420. That's him. I think. Yeah, and here's the um, the dumb guy from the last game who I thought wasn't going to be in this. Actually, no. Did we get this cut? Did Vinny watch this cutscene? I can't remember. get all of you. You think you could lock me away and stop pollution? That chance. What is this white bit down the side here? Oh my god. You love trash? <laughs> you love me. <laughs> you want to be just like me? Well, let me go. I'm your leader. I'm the future. And you're just afraid to admit it. <laughs> yes, the future. <laughs> <Tin can? laughs> Good analogy for modern, modern gaming. The, the future is indeed garbage. Taken out. Repeat. The garbage has been taken out. Oh, dear. But, um... We did it. We did it. I'm the only person who's finished this game. Alright, yeah. For people who want to finish this game, screenshot this bit. This is all cheats. So what do we got? Um, congratulations. Uh, PC uses substitute alt for option control for command. See any particular level, hold down option shift and type number 1 to 8. Okay. Okay, so it was alt shift and then 1 to 8 for the levels. Um, alt click bypasses the front door quiz. Yeah, these are old school credits too. So, uh, there's a cheat there too. We gotta look at the che other cheat in a second. There's an Easter egg. Um, click the red light at the skimmer cleanup game will bypass. Click on the small G. 
Okay, okay. So this is like sequence breaking. So you can hold down Alt and click on all these things to skip certain puzzles. Plus several more undocumented hacks. Uh, these are mostly put in place as a programming aid, as such there is no liability taken for the application behavior once they are enacted. In general, option clicking around can yield unexpected results, like the commode in scene 7. Uh, type in quiet on the... yeah, so we're going to check this out. Um, click anywhere to roll credits. Okay. Yeah, so that's just the credits you get in when you quit. Uh, so who's involved in this? I, I probably, yeah, like whoever, there was like nine testers on this game and it still played like garbage. That's terrible. But yeah, I did see, yeah, so Bill Wise is the guy who did Jonah Green Street, the, the garbage man slash weatherman. Um, I looked him up. He's apparently been in Red vs. Blue and like some older anime. Um... And I think there was something Rooster Teeth related there, so I, I haven't seen much else of him. But he's he's around. He's still around. Alright, so yeah, we finished that garbage. We'll go back in, we'll skip all the stuff, and I'll show off the um that cutscene. Just yep, get rid of that garbage. Skip cutscenes. Yep. Great, fantastic. So we type in quiet on the set. John calls a shot. Well, I mean, at least you're enthusiastic. Bing, the elevator door is open. Okay, so I guess that's the direct gun. Is that the first gun? Turn that up! Yeah. <laughs> you have, like, soap booties. Hi, hi, hi! It's Kyle, again! And look, Pat, buy the food. Again! I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> so I noticed he didn't have that thing on his face before that. Who's that guy? Tony. Garbage man. <laughs> Woo, beautiful. Oi. Yeah, that did not deserve a round of applause no fucking way no we're done all right get to do that excellent um so yeah i'll cut this together for youtube it'll be up probably by tomorrow if i'm fucking around um but yeah thank you matey thank you for all for coming along um, I'm gonna go and be violently ill, because that sucked a lot. But yeah, thanks for coming guys. See you next time.